I wish I was able to take more days off in the next couple of days. Or, I'm sorry, in the next... Hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Rue, hi. Not sure if anyone else has made it in yet, but if they have, hello to you, too. Um, uh, if you are celebrating 4th of July here in America, the United States of America, that is, then, uh, you know, happy 4th and all that. There's a lot of bullshit in our country right now, so, you know, I know some people aren't celebrating like they normally would, maybe. But regardless, um, I hope everyone has a nice day at the very least. And, I mean, regardless of the reason why, uh, watching a bunch of explosions in the sky is always fun. Colorful, fun explosions, that is. Obviously, there are situations where a bunch of explosions in the sky wouldn't be a fun time. Anyways, though, enough rambling from me. Let's see. Where are we? We have a bunch of shit. Can we buy a backpack yet? That's the one thing that I actually kind of want. We have 141 dollars so do you sell backpacks probably not you probably just sell food huh oh you do you do large bags even hell yeah look i'll be honest with you right now i care more about backpack than anything else so even though i probably shouldn't be using all of my my fancy money I think there's a decent chance we're going to end up using some fancy money. Oh, no, we might not actually have to. Okay. We actually have enough money that we don't need to use any of our fancy money, which is, is nice. I mean, I would like to buy two, and technically I think we have enough, right? Don't we still have a little bit more gold here, maybe? How much do we have? 66. Okay, no, we don't have enough anyways. So, dope. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about that, not having to use it all up. That's nice. Uh, I wish we could use that other menu. There we go. Every week. One week doesn't seem like that long of a time, but every week, man, I <laughs> struggle to remember how the hell to play any game. Doesn't matter what game. I just struggle to to remember how to play it. So, Drain. We can steal foes on from some shit. We have one elixir, which is, like, the really nice uh, healing potion. We have the painkiller. We have these two things. That's right. We were keeping the moon pendant because her health is a little bit low compared to some other people. I vaguely remember that. And then, why don't we, since we have a lot of potions, that's kind of our thing this time, is just making a shit ton of potions. Why don't we put that stuff up there to get it out of the way? Um... And then we'll use the two bottom slots for now. Okay, let's get on out of here, man. Let's get into it. I don't even remember what chapter we're in. Fair says Rue, heck the fourth right now. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but fireworks are still fun. I uh, Noodle, unfortunately, is working. I'm thinking... I don't think she's in here yet, so I can say this. Uh, after the stream, I'm thinking about driving over and surprising her. I don't know if we'll be able to see any from her workplace or not, or whatever, but uh, we might we might try just to see some of the, the fireworks. But I don't think they'll really be visible from where she works at, sadly. Like I said, though, regardless of whether anyone is celebrating or not, I do hope they have a nice day today. Assholes, that's what they are. All of them. Oh shit, I forgot to start the recording. It's fine. The recording is gonna be just a tiny bit late. But you didn't miss anything. You missed like six lines of dialogue. That's <laughs> if you if I ever do anything with the recording. I do plan on making YouTube videos someday, like normal YouTube videos, but fuck to, I just don't have the time. But someday. I keep every every stream just about recorded. Just in case, you know. ベルベット様。指輪は私ません。やるのは無理だ。指を
That <laughs> give fuck, dude. Alright, so what chapter are we in? We're in chapter four, okay, so we're already halfway, roughly halfway through her storyline, which is good. That means there's a really good chance we'll get to the epilogue today. I'm excited to see how it all wraps up, man, honestly. Because we've been, like, pulled in all these different directions with the different characters, seeing all of their different storylines separately and all that. Um, getting little, little pieces of the overall story fed to us. And I just, I want to see how it all ends up now, you know? Like, like, what is the conclusion? Why, what have we been working towards this entire time? We have one blank material, but it's level five, which doesn't do shit for us. Um, so we really, we need to get a potion, a, a material rather, so that we can make a a, uh, a warming potion that would be really nice um because yeah we're gonna be losing a lot of health here do i have any antidotes i don't have any antidotes either oh wait i do i have one not that that's gonna do much worse in the long run hopefully we get some uh, material here so that we can make warming potion and i guess some more uh antidotes as well since we're gonna be fighting assholes that like to poison us Kitchen recipe, floating island. Weird, okay. You're not going to be as engaging this time, Rue. The Wi-Fi has issues, man. I totally get it. No worries, no worries. I appreciate you being here, um, but I, I get it. <laughs> you know, some things are out of our control. Hi, you're here but can't hear, Noodle. Well, hello, Noodle. Hi, Noodle. Uh, stream love one. Happy fluffy meringue. Weird. Okay, it's an egg, a uh, seed, maple, mulberry, and it costs a Valentinian gold. I'm assuming it's pretty nice, then. Are there any other ingredients that we can pick up? Because it'd be really nice to get... I forget what makes antidote. Is it onion? I think it's an onion. No. Okay, well, we can still make a cooling potion at the very least. We're gonna, we're gonna need that anyways. So let's grab that wherever our turnip is. There we go. Get some warming potion for the next section. And I guess just get the hell out of here. We have no idea where we're going yet. We've been told by people who have played this game a fair bit that the individual level worlds, whatever the hell you want to call them, do actually stay the same in between each uh, character's run. But the spawn location of the player changes. Um, but if you have it memorized, that does mean technically you can just uh like go straight to wherever you need to go like you can just know <laughs> that sort of thing um but we most definitely do not <laughs> know that just just on our own here not even close man that was surprisingly easy i will accept it thank you grab our bosons and i think one of those treasure chests drops a another material which is good because we're probably going to need it for either warming potions or antidotes or both. Naple seed. Very good food. We like that. And a map. We already got the map. Holy hell. I'm fairly surprised about that. Uh, not that button. This one. So where are we actually trying to get to? Where is the boss? All the way at the top there. So there's only really one direction to go. Is there anything that we want to actually get? We can avoid... If we go to the left here, we can avoid one extra encounter. Um, I'd probably rather have the Valentinian Gold than the Roboard Seed, so we'll go right when we get there. And that'll also avoid an encounter. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're pretty much set, dude. We're good. Let's uh, pick up our shit, of course, and then run around and see if there's any ingredients that we can get. Hoping for an onion. I don't know if onions grow in this frigid landscape or not, but... We need that antidote, man, because the, the assassin blades are annoying as hell. Eh, I heard a squeak. It's another turn up. I mean, we'll take it. We're not going to be mad about some, you know, free ingredients. A little bit of warming potion every now and then is good, too. 
There we go. Fuck yeah, dude. I, I don't know if onions actually grow in frigid landscapes like this. I feel like probably not, but they are root vegetables. So, I mean, maybe, you know, they do have the ground to help protect them and stuff. So maybe it makes sense. I'm not a botanist. I don't freaking know. Let's swap some stuff around just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, we're good to go. So we were going left. Yes, left first. We'll check out the shop. Probably not going to buy anything, but we'll stop and see if they have anything of note. And then rush our way to the boss, essentially. What do you got? Anything decent? Half naked maiden on this mountain. Yep, that's me. Uh, okay, the ice proof charm would be nice for here, but I don't see the point in wasting our money on it. Another large bag would be nice, but that would take all of our good money, the the puka coins. So we're just skipping it. Continue onward, onward and upward. I like to say, not really. I don't. <laughs> Uh, what level encounter was this? I don't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and plant a Naple seed, maybe? Or Muggle. We do have multiple Muggle, and I don't really care about losing them. So I'm just gonna plant a Muggle, I guess. Um, and see if we can get that to grow. Because our, our health level is a little low. I also forgot to take the warming potion, because I'm a professional. And y'all can die now. Yep, nope, I don't want any of that smoke, man. Leave those blades the hell away. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> Got poisoned by their own damn blades. Okay. Uh, she has really, like, her magic seems really powerful, even though her, uh, her actual attacks are a bit... Meh. <laughs> the way she attacks and whatnot is cool, but her actual attack power doesn't seem all that high. Could be because we're still early and I'm just used to, you know, later on in the game. Um, but I think it's just her, to be honest. I only got an A on that one, really? I felt like we did really good with it. Oh, well. Take our spoils. A level 10 material, very nice. Mulberry seed, we'll probably just get rid of the mulberry seed. But first, let's eat our muggle. We have that level 5 one, we can uh, just dump these extra seeds into it for now. Maybe get it up to 9 and make a level 90. Seems like a, a decent plan. Where is my level 5 though? I'm probably blind. Yeah, there it is. Keep in the Naple. Give rid of the Muggle. Not that worried about keeping them around. The Naples though are really good, obviously. And that, that mulberry too. I mean, we could we could grow the mulberry and hold on to it and then make it into something. Like some sort of fruit concoction for for the uh for the health points, which honestly is probably the better option, but ah, when have we ever been good at games? It's fine. So you're in Naples seed, okay. Get our seed up here. You there were... We have one use of warming left. We're going to want to make another warming potion. Might as well go ahead and get that out of the way now. So we'll grab our level zero and a turnip. Make a warming potion. Absorb our bosons. And we are going straight up to a level five encounter. So it is going to be a lot of enemies. A good place to grow some naples is what we'll do. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably just going to be a turnip, but if it's an onion, I mean, we'll take the turnip anyways, just because we have inventory space for it, but I'd rather have an onion right now, I think, for the for the napalm and potentially antidote. Hopefully, we don't need too many antidotes, but you never know. Uh, okay, level five encounter. We know there's going to be a bunch of shit here, so first, let's drink our cooling potion, or warming potion, rather. I don't think we want to drink a cooling potion in this tundra. I uh, <laughs> don't think that would end up too well for us. We'll probably take some painkiller. Yes, painkiller. Go ahead and down one of those because we're definitely going to be fighting a bunch of people. And then plant two naples. It's a level five encounter, so we should have enough stuff going on here to... Uh, to make that possible. Holy hell, dude. There's so many enemies spawning in already. 
Uh, it's fine. Everything is fine. The lag is is real. It's not it's not the worst we've seen though, honestly. Okay, those uh those big dudes can be super annoying. Um I kind of wish I had some actual food, but we're just going to drink a health potion. Make sure our health stays nice and high. I don't appreciate you guys disappearing like that, though. And we're frozen. <laughs> One of the many reasons those big dudes are super freaking annoying. Uh, you're burrowing underground again, aren't you? Or no, you were just jumping in the air, I guess? Fuck you, dude. And your icy breath. Oh my god, I hate I hate these guys so much. I mean, at least they're not like one-hit kills or anything crazy like that, but they freeze ya. They do have some decent damage output. They're just not nice guys, honestly. And they do have, like I said, some pretty decent damage output. Even with our painkiller, they're still uh, getting our health down pretty damn quick, you know? Uh, no, you can keep that snowball. I'd rather not. Okay. Our painkiller ran out, which is important to note. So we'll probably want to be careful about that. <laughs> which means drink another health potion before we die. Apparently we had a couple health tonics that were already used, but not... Oh, God. The lag. The lag is real. Okay. Cyclone. That should be able to get rid of some of the, the little dudes, basically. Or at least get them really close to dying. Oh, God. Okay, that, that kind of took me by surprise. So much lag. We need to just kill some dudes. Get them off the damn screen, please. <laughs> just go away. Oh, my God. Probably should have taken another painkiller, honestly. Uh, we're about to get poisoned. Oh, thank God we dodged it. Well, we didn't really dodge it so much as we just, you know, killed the, the, the freaking blade. Is this Naple grown yet? It is. Or at least one of them is. The other one should be growing now. We want to get these off the tree before they spoil. That's going to be some good health experience for us. And there's another level. Okay. Let's take another painkiller. I hate using so much of it on non-boss fight. But if we die, it's all for nothing. Oh, shit. We are out of magic. Oh my god, the lag, dude. <laughs> the lag is unfreaking real. Okay, at least with all of their poison blades throwing around, we're getting some decent poison on the enemies, which, I mean, should in theory help a little bit. Oh god, we're dizzy. We're dizzy and we have, like, no health. This is actually bad. Okay, get the hell out of here. Run, run away. Just, just get away. Take a damn health potion, man. We are going through them way quicker than I would like. We definitely do need to get some more some more health. This might be the first time we have to go backwards and actually like grind for 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 stuff. Because uh we, we're going to need some We're gonna need some more health potions for sure. Okay, there should be a lot of foes on floating rounds. Alright, get back. Uh, you're facing the wrong direction. That's not going to do any good. Cyclone them up. That should help a lot. Is there any more Pozons floating around? Please? A couple? Well, that's probably from the ones that just died. Uh, don't get frozen. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Can you die, maybe? <laughs> just all of you. Just, no. Okay. Actually, you know what? Thank you for that uppercut, because that uppercut saved us from getting our ass frozen again. <laughs> So honestly, thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right, I think I think everything's dead. We did it. We're fine. Everything is fine. Make sure we pick up our Naples. We'll probably just eat one or two of them right away. Uh, we got a D, which I mean, I'm not that surprised about. Honestly, that was a really long fight. We got our we got our Valentinian gold, though. You know, gotta gotta look at the bright side. Where did the other Naples go? There were definitely other ones on the ground that we knocked off the tree. Did we already pick them up? They don't, like, disappear or anything, right? I'm pretty sure they don't. Hello? Naples? Maybe we did pick them up already. 
Yeah, we've definitely we've definitely done a few full lap at this point. Okay, we'll just go into our inventory. Eat this one. I hope they didn't like disappear or something. I don't think they just disappear on the ground. Pretty sure they stay there until you pick them up. It's just whenever they're on the tree, they go like overripe or whatever. Oh yeah, no, we have all four of them in here. Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's take this material, mix it with the naval core. That'll make a nine. We can mix the nine with the 10 to make a level 90. We already knew we were gonna do that. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And now what else do we have? Do we have any other material that we need to do anything with? We do not. We have a couple carrots. We can... We could make another set of health potions, or... So we have, what? One, two, three naples. We eat those. That would get us up to 93. We have a mall berry. That would get us to 94. We could do some stuff with the turnips to get up to 96 and make a high-level one. A high-level uh, elixir. Well, high-level material. You can't actually make better potions, which is still weird to me. The fact that, like, if you use a high-level material, instead of getting a higher-level higher potion, you just get a uh, more more bosons released. It's really strange. It's a weird way of doing things. It works, don't get me wrong, but it's odd to me. Um, did I go the wrong direction? I thought the direction we were going was going to have us skip the boss. Maybe, maybe not, though. Um, in that case, I should probably go ahead and take another painkiller. If we're going to be facing a boss, and then we'll just try to beat the hell out of him real quick. Oh, it's you! The the Halja, or whatever the hell you guys are called. Uh, Fozon Burst. That should do a bit of damage, hopefully. Oh, hell yeah, that did a lot of damage. Spawn back in here, Mr. Halja, sir. Ow. <laughs> I didn't say hit me now. I just said spawn back in, you dick. Okay, no, we're actually doing pretty decent damage to him. Both uh, that, that Fozon Burst did a lot, obviously, but he's also just going down quick. Hell yeah. Already dead. These fucking Yeti bros are going to be more annoying than the actual boss of the level. Oh, my lord. Again, this is with the painkiller reducing the amount of damage we're taking, and they're still, like, kicking our ass. It's amazing to me how <laughs> how much damage they do. All right, we have... I think it's just a mulberry seed, but we'll plant it because there's a lot of Fozons running around, and our Cypher level is actually pretty high. So we'll just we'll take the, the mulberry, even though they only give a little bit of experience, like... A little bit of experience is better than none, right? You had to go down all the way down to 160p. That is terrible. <laughs> I don't even know what that's gonna look like. That's gotta be that's gotta be rough, man. <laughs> Ooh, a level 10 material. Definitely take that. Muggle seed, meh. Oh, another naple seed though, okay. Well we knew we were gonna eat the mall berries. We could keep a hold of them. Shit, it looked like shit. <laughs> I can I can imagine, yes. Um bum, 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 bum. Okay, we're gonna use the level 10, I think, and make just a regular health potion, because we're gonna need that. And we might as well try and grow a muggle while we're doing that. Oh no, we have we have multiple uh, releases that we can do, so we're gonna grow a naple instead. Much better for the experience. Um, well, we have a couple sets of seeds, actually, don't we? Let's grow a Muggle and a whatchamacallit, and we'll go ahead and use our level 90 to make our health potion. Let's do that instead. Where are my carries? Because that should basically grow the Naple and Muggle on its own. And then if we need any, you know, supplemental Fozons, we can, we can throw them out. There we go. We didn't even need the supplemental ones, man. Excellent. Our Cypher level's already 20, though, which I feel is really good. Of course, I feel like we haven't been spending as much time just growing stuff this time. Um, so that's uh, probably a large part of it. Let's go ahead and eat the Naples. Should we get either a level up or a full heal? Same thing at the end of the day. Uh, might as well just go ahead and finish it since we're so close to leveling up. Thank you, game. And we'll dump the core into our level 10, start working up to 
an elixir, I think. Take that 11 and mix it with a turnip since we have an overabundance of them to get it to 12. And that's it for now. Okay. Oh no, the next part is the boss. We didn't. We didn't fuck it up. Thank God. This boss, I feel like, is going to be pretty tough, though, with as low on health as we are. It's fine. Everything is fine. What could possibly go wrong? Let's do a quick save. Just get that in there real quick, because, uh, yeah. If everything ends up not being fine, it'd be nice to have somewhere to go back to. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Excellent. Uh, no, not that. This. Alright, we shouldn't need to use a cooling potion while we're in here. Uh, the boss level. It never seems to need one in the boss levels. But we're gonna wanna pop our painkiller real quick. And just to get it out of our inventory, we might throw down the drain potion. Maybe. ミデルの魂は生在バレンタインの王女、ベルベット。I don't, I'm not trying to casually dismiss his death. Uh, I feel so bad for the dragons, honestly. Man, I don't want to fight the dragons anymore, honestly. <laughs> like, I just feel bad for them at this point, you know? Like, the dragons actually seem like decent people, and we've just... They're being controlled by the wise men slash wizards, so, I mean, they're the ones to blame at the end of the day. But I can't help but feel a little bit responsible for all the BS they have to put up with. All right, definitely gonna pop that painkiller real quick. All right, this is the one that does this shit. Good to, good to know. Um... Yeah, we were going to throw down the drain. It only does the stuff on the screen. It's definitely not a good time to use it, but whatever. Ow. Okay, we're frozen already. That didn't take long. <laughs> well, thanks for putting out the fire there. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, you know what? If we could, I was going to say, if we can just touch one of those, it'll put out the flame for us, which is the one nice thing about fighting the dragons here. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. We can we can exploit the, the icy boys. Can't we like ride you or something? Isn't that something we can do? Am I crazy for thinking that? Don't touch the Don't touch the thing. The things are bad. Uh get away from the thing. The the twisters, the the, the whatever you want to call them. They hurt like hell, dude. Why do you keep running away, dragon sir? I just want to kick your ass. Well, not even so much that I would do. I kind of have to kick your ass. I guess if we just go the other way, that'd probably yeah, make sense. Ah, uh, god damn it. I hate being frozen. We have a bunch of Fozons. Let's do some bursts. So that should do some level of damage. He's, he's, okay, he's stunned, I think, for a moment. Uh, barely, but kind of. We'll still take it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait. Our uh, painkiller ran out, I just realized. Can we quickly get one of those down before we take too much damage? We're actually almost out of uh, POW, too, so it's a good thing to wait for a moment. Okay, um... Potion? Potion? 
Why can't I go in the menu? I guess it's because I was on his back, so it read me as, like, flying or something. I don't know, man. Um, oh my god, we're getting our ass kicked. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. Okay, flames have recovered. I mean, okay, <laughs> we got hit by a fire elemental, instantly hit by a ice elemental, and they just kind of canceled each other out, so that worked out well. Ow. Okay, we need another health potion real quick, real quick. Healing tonic. This is actually going better than I expected. I probably shouldn't say that, because next thing you know, we're going to fucking just take like a massive amount of damage and die. But with any luck, it's so nice when we can actually ride on the dragon with these dudes. I forget which one it was. It might have been uh, Mercedes, the, the biggest pain in the ass of the game. Um, but we just, like, could not get on the dragon's back, man. There you go. Dunzo. That went well. That actually went really well. I'm surprised. I mean, we went in there with a plan, and it worked. But with as little health as we have, I expected it to go very poorly. But I will take it. Gladly. <laughs> What do you mean, true dragon? I don't know what to do with it. I このバレンタインの王族が自分たちの墓標を始末したいと申すか。願ってもないことだ。だが、この地上に手の届かぬ場所などはない。どこであろうと、ドアフドムが掘り返してしまうだろう。では、どうする？ たとえ相手が終焉の獣であろうと雲海の上を飛ぶ者には手出しできまい相手が王大院というなら直さらだなぜかつて奴と引き分けたことがあるその武勇に恩賞として必要なものだ。ああ、そうだ。彼は肉体
And while we're at it, it has been nearly an hour. We're a few minutes early, but we might as well go ahead and take this chance while we're saving and things to go ahead and do our break, man. Run the run the ad so we don't end up with one in the middle of the gameplay or anything like that and give everyone a chance to stand up, stretch, get a drink, do all the things they need to do. I'll certainly be doing those things. You should too. Sitting for long periods of time just isn't good for you guys. It's true. Look it up. I promise. I'm not lying to you. We'll be right back like to do the the winter thing but i'm hoping to be able to do like a uh, spring at least this year you can handle a small amount of bugs you'd be more worried about spiders yeah but i mean like in a campground there's usually not that many spiders outside of daddy long legs but i don't consider those spiders because like they're completely harmless to people and i think technically some daddy long legs aren't spiders anyways. I could be wrong. I'm not a bug expert, but you know. You don't like grass? I, I don't understand your, your hatred of grass, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the story that he's telling. Asa is right. That portal did to, like send everybody back through time or some shit. Oh, he's explaining checkpoints. Gotcha. Outside sucks in general, Noodle. I'm with you. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. There's bugs hiding in the grass. They're not that bad. You pique my interest for it and we'll probably get out for some camping in summer. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going at least once this year. Um, I would prefer it to have been winter. Uh, if I can't do winter, then I'd prefer spring, because I'd rather it be a little chilly than to be hot. But if I can't do either one, then I'm going this summer. Like, it's 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 happening one way or another. If Mr. Noodle doesn't want to go, I'll just go by myself for all I care. Like, <laughs> I didn't notice. This is totally a portal potty, too. Like, <laughs> I wasn't paying much attention when they were talking, but that's totally a portal potty. There's no way around that. You can, you're allergic to grass, you break out in a really itchy rash. I had some problems with, like, cut grass when I was younger, but I, I grew out of it, thankfully. Oh, this bird, man. It's got, he's got a sense of humor. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good one, but he's got one. You can't leave me alone here? Well, I mean, you're more than welcome to come with me, of course, but, like, <laughs> if you're gonna refuse to go camping with me, what am I supposed to do? You're not made to be alone? I know you're not. Love camping, it's peaceful, and you love cooking over the fire. Same, man. That's what it is. It's just peaceful. Just be able to get away from everything and relax. You're jealous, though? You're over there relaxing. You're already dreading the fact that you have an 8 to 10 page research paper for one of your classes? I don't miss college at all, man. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. I, well, okay. I miss it a tiny bit just because, like, I did a in-person, in 100% in-person college. And I, I had a couple of good friends that I went to college with. So I miss that. And one of my professors, teachers, whatever you want to call her, was really cool. Uh, I really liked her and hanging out with her and talking to her about programming and shit like that. It's so, like, I miss it from that standpoint, you know? But, like, I don't miss anything else about college. <laughs> I don't miss all of the work. I don't miss the waking up early. Uh, uh, the the stress. The money. Oh, man. Because my college was relatively cheap. But still. You know? I don't miss any of that. I think he was holding an interesting drink in the loading screen. I'm very, I, I, I must have missed it completely because <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. So I must have missed whatever it is. You can just say you're really glad it's double spaced. I feel that, man. Thankfully, we didn't have to write very many papers since I, I did just go for uh, advanced software and uh, development. Was All right, everyone, we are back. Let's get back into it, shall we? Uh, click there so I can actually see my whole screen. There we go. Let's freaking go. What do you got to say for yourself? I mean, I presumably came here of my own accord. Why would I run away? 
our prisoner? You haven't. Wait a second. Did we did we get captured? I assumed we had come here just on our own. Fuck Lord Brigan. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> that guy is trash. Yeah, don't put yourself in danger. This guy. Fuck this guy. Doubt it. You can try. I'll kick your ass again. No problem doing that, man. Can't you see the resemblance, man? They're basically twins. <laughs> Just keep, go. Get out. Nice talking to you too, sis. <laughs> what do you got to sell? Anything decent guy? Probably not. Uh, we could go ahead and get another large bag, maybe. Use the titanium gold. We do have that commemorative coin, which is worth a lot. But we should probably try not to use it. Um, we'll use a few aerial coins. Oh, man. Fuck. Do we use it? I think we just go ahead and use it. We like, we do so little with the cooking stuff. I'm probably gonna end up kicking myself for that. Especially the commemorative coins, because they're so hard to come by, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just get our bag. More inventory space, the better. Equip that, and there we go. Now we have a little bit more room. So let's get our edibles up top. Our potions that we had so many of, and we now have so few of. They did not last very long. Uh, get them down here. Those are our ingredients. We got seeds. You're an edible. Put you up here. Okay. We got some level of organization at least now. Where are we going next anyways? Hopefully somewhere with carrots. The deep forest of Elrit. I think if I remember correctly, there are carrots here, but they're rare. I just want to get more healing potions. That's that's all I want to do, man. Get more healing potions and or carrots. Of course, I guess this may not be where we end up, end up, but... You love this part? You actually get to see the in-between? That's dope. Why are you helping Gwendolyn? Thank you, <laughs> Velvet. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Himesama, お引きください。手を出すな。彼女を and the soldiers are right there. I think they kind of had to hear it. <laughs><笑> この娘が逃れるまでは、たとえ王であろうとここは通すまい。王に対し何という。一歩でも近づけば、このやりが貫くぞ。あなたの鎖を3。
Gwendolyn's still the best character in the game, man. Hello, Dark Boy. He's uh, he is pretty cool too. And Corny, Cornelius, he was awesome. There's a lot of really good characters in this game, to be honest, man. A lot of really shitty characters too. They definitely know how to like make you like someone and make you hate someone for sure. Hey, what's up, Chocobo? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome, and your uh, lurking <laughs> ways. <laughs> まだ意識が戻らずに伏せておりますミリスではありませんか。罰を受けて国を追われてしまったのです。彼女はどこに森の古城へ幽閉されることになりました。I mean, they really try in the beginning of the game to make you dislike Velvet, but, like, she's pretty dope, too, to be honest, man. I think Gwendolyn's still probably the best of the group, maybe, but Velvet's, Velvet's got a good heart on her, man. That's for sure. I hear battle music. Are we going to get into the game? Come on. I wish my PS2 were a little bit closer so I could just give it a loving little uh, touch every now and then, you know, just a nice little pat, maybe maybe a little rub on the head, just, <laughs> you got this little guy, you got this. I know you're like 20 years old, and uh, <laughs> and I put you through some shit for getting you to turn you off sometimes, just leaving you on for sometimes days <laughs> at a time, but you got this, I believe in you, you can, you can do it. Um, we're also getting our ass kicked by frogs, so <laughs> go us. Why? Why are the frogs such a pain in the ass, man? They're frogs. Go away. There was a chest over here. Break that open. We get a single mulberry seed of all things. Hell yeah. What grows in the forest? What vegetables? I forget. Onions. Okay, those are good for napalm and antidotes, which... I mean, we don't use that often, but can come in handy. And a map already? Dude, the game is being too kind to us. I'm not used to getting maps this early, honestly. So what do we got? Where are we going? There is some milk. I don't care about the milk. That looks cool, but we're probably not going to end up using it. I think we just go to the boss again, man. Honestly. That's one, two, three, four. Uh, I kind of, I want to see what it is, but no, 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 no. I don't think, like, we never end up using any of that stuff anyway, so there's no point. Let's just go. Let's just go up to the boss. We will do one trip around, though, to see if there's any vegetables other than onions. Looking for these, for carrots, please. All the carrots, man. I like carrots in real life, but I freaking love them in this game. <laughs> They are the best. They give me life, literally. The battle music, I don't know why, but today, not be not, not before today, but like at this moment, is giving me some like Kingdom Hearts vibes, and I'm not really positive why. I think I just have Kingdom Hearts on the brain, to be honest. <laughs> I miss that game series, man. 
I'm excited for 4 whenever it eventually comes out. Uh, we should have grown some food is what we should have done. We should also take an antidote instead of just sitting here and taking more damage for no real reason. That would also be smart. Holy shit, so many seeds. Okay, we are going to just dump all of these probably. Let's see, grab the mulberries first because we're going to dump them first and then the muggles. And then if we have space, we'll take the, the grapes because grapes are actually pretty decent. But they're not so good that I don't mind getting rid of them real quick. All right. I have accepted at this point that we're not going to use that one charm, I think. So I'm not completely against getting rid of it. Where is... Didn't we have some warming potion left? We did. Let's go ahead and mix that with that. That'll get us up to 24. And then we can take that 24. Mix you with some mulberry seeds to get you to 26. And I think... If I remember correctly, I think six is what we need to make the elixirs. So take 26, mix you with our carrot. No, that is tea. What is tea? What is, what is tea? I really, I cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, alchemy mix tea, QRS toxin. No, we want E. What is E then? Is it 28? It's eight. Shit. Okay, that's fine though. We can we can do that. We have we have the technology and a shit ton of muggle seeds. So grab that. Don't the turnips make the the ice potion the invulnerability through ice? Maybe we should save one or two of the turnips and try to make some of them. Because being completely invulnerable invulnerable to damage is also really powerful, as you know one might expect. Um, I would actually like to. We picked up some grape seeds, right? Muggle, muggle. Is that a grape? It is. I would like to grow some grapes, if possible. Okay, Twitch, please work with me. <laughs> Over here begging Twitch. I don't know, man. Twitch can be a dick sometimes. Twitch does what Twitch wants. <laughs> I, I do wish it would work for you a little bit better, but... uh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold my breath either. It's a shame you're open on a holiday and working. Then why the fuck are you here, Robert? What? <laughs> what? I, I, I get what you're saying, but like, is that... <laughs> Do you know them or something like that? The, the name part is what confuses me. Like, it sounds like you actually know them. All right, uh, level zero, I think, is the best that we have. You know what I should do? Because I'm an idiot, I should look up what we need to make ice spirits. Habaneros, not turnips. Do the turnips make the fire one, then? They do. So level six in a turnip to make fire. That, I mean, that's fine, too. It, it still makes us invulnerable. So take our level zero. Can we mix it with the charm? That takes us to seven, though. Annoying. I mean, we can make another elixir that way, I guess. Because we're, we're not going to end up using the moon pendant. So we might as well get it out of our inventory. So we'll take that. Take this. Where'd you go? I miss you, so there it is. Grab you. Mix you with the grape stem. Because everyone knows grape stems make excellent uh, bases for, for potion mixing. And then make another elixir. There's too many people here. There's like nine guests, including me, and then another five that... Oh. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. My antisocial ass would be not having a good time right now. <laughs> All right. Mm, elixirs out the ass, which, honestly, good. Please and thank you. Get the seeds in there. All right. We are actually not in a very bad spot, I feel like with all the stuff that we have and we're actually finding carrots holy hell yes please and thank you i take all the carrots man they're as good as gold continue on up should we plant any seeds i forgot to check and see what level this encounter was what do we have do we have a muggle because at the end of the day i really don't care if the muggles get ruined so yeah we'll plant that oh it's the bears fuck the bears man 
I don't know why. I, I think it's because they heal. <laughs> they're cute. Like, they're one of the, the better design characters, I feel like, or enemy characters. But I just hate them so much. They're tanky. They heal. They just annoy the shit out of me. I just want them to, to go away. And apparently, they also put out a bunch of damage because we are hurt. Legitimately hurt. All right, come on. Just die. Stop laying down. <laughs> You're not allowed to heal. I forbid it. No healing. Uh, he's about to hit the shit out of me. Oh, God. He's dead. Okay. Oh, God. There's more. <laughs> Just what I was hoping for. No. Let's eat our muggle because we need some health. More muggles, please. Uh, that is some level of health. Maybe use a Cyclone and eat a Bite of Maple. Um, and since that first part was good enough to grow a Muggle, let's go ahead and plant another one. Uh, I was kind of hoping that would level us up, not going to lie. But oh well, it's fine. No, you're going to hit me from the back. That's not how I like it. Every time you go back, I'm, I'm just so happy for how clean it is, really. See, for me, I just, social interaction just drains me. That's why I don't like <laughs> being around other people. <laughs> that's that's my thing. I just, I just really am. I, like, I'm not technically antisocial or anything. I'm just very introverted, believe it or not. Outside of the internet, I just prefer to be alone. Social interaction just makes me want to sleep for years. There might be enough Fozons floating around to grow one more thing. Maybe another Muggle. As much as I hate them, we need the experience, man, for some more for some more health. Let's go ahead and eat some of those Muggles. We could use the health. Uh, okay, that actually grew without any intervention, without any help from us. Do we need... Or, have any more floating around. Doesn't appear so. What can we get from the chest? A level zero? Yes, please. And a Rosimile. Also very nice. Do we grow any more stuff then? What do we got? We got some mulberries, which meh. Some muggles. A carrot. Okay. Your social battery is running on critical right now? Bruh, I feel that in my soul. Um, okay, so we can use the Muggle to make Muggle Sorbet. So maybe we go ahead and use the Rosimile to grow another Muggle. Okay. And we might as well grow a Mulberry while we're at it. Rosimile, Mulberry, Muggle. And we will need to do one Fozon release to get that all to work. And then, since we have multiple muggles in our inventory, I'm just going to use that other muggle seed that we have and throw it into a potion. A base, that is. Yeah, just get rid of it. We don't want you here. And then, where? We have a core somewhere. There we go. Very nice. Alright, now we just gotta wait for these bitches to grow. our maw berries. We will try to keep a hold of those as well for potentially making food. I'm kind of hoping we run into a puka thing in the middle of here because I may have overlooked it, but I didn't see a, uh, a puka warp point or whatever the hell you want to call it before we uh, came into the level this time, which is odd. But there's a very real chance that I did just overlook it. Okay, we want to go to the right which is a shop of all things. Hey, a, uh, uh, what's it called? Cubs Bane. That's useful for something, I think. Painkiller, maybe? I want to say it makes painkiller, which we are pretty low on. What is the recipe for that again? We have too many recipes at this point. I cannot remember them all. Level two in Cubs Bane. Yes, dude, let's do that. Which we uh, conveniently already have a level two. Very nice. Make some more painkiller, please, and thank you. Uh, 
Uh, you go here, you go there, and there, ingredient, there, okay. I kind of wish we could set the bags to be like, I want you to hold this, and it would just sort them for us. Uh, I also kind of wish I could remember how to work the freaking game. There we go. Okay, going this way. Shop time. Probably not going to sell anything, but we'll take a look and see if they have anything worth buying. I doubt it. Muggle seeds, milk, small bags, Mars bangle, attack power by 20%. I kind of like the POW one that we have. Having the more attack power is very nice, don't get me wrong, but she seems to run out of stamina so quickly, man. So having that POW bangle is a huge boon. Um, okay, this is a boss level, so we're going to painkiller. That's probably it, just painkiller. We have this one that's almost empty. Drink that one. Oh, it's a it's a two. two. What? How did we get dizzied? I guess like, I guess it doesn't really matter how close we are. We just get dizzied when if we're on the ground when they land after jumping. Which uh, is where her swinging technique really comes in handy, I suppose. Cyclone to get rid of the frogs. I mean, and also, you know, do some damage to them is always nice. Uh, yes, actually, if you guys want to stay stacked up like that, that would be fine. Because uh, that just means that we can hit both of you at the same time, which is handy, to say the least. Take a bite of Naple. Another bite of Naple. Oh, uh, we're about to get hit. Yep, and we're poisoned. Very nice, man. And dizzy. This is, this is all good. <laughs> this is going well. Can we get away from that before we get even more poison, please? Antidote. If we can get at least one of them killed, that would probably help things out. This is where uh, having something that, like, makes us invulnerable to poison would be really smart. <laughs> there are items to do that, but we, we never buy them, though. Fuck, I didn't see that one was jumping. I think our painkiller just ran out too, so hold on, I'll be back. Don't worry guys, I'm not going anywhere, I just need to down some painkiller, please. And should probably eat some food too, actually, while we're here. Um, some more Naples? Yes. One more bite and we might level up. Thank fuck. I am so surprised that none of that hit us, man. <laughs> you freaking frog. I'm trying to hit them. <laughs> I want to get behind them so I can hit them. And the frog knocked me the hell down. Rude. Oh, God. No, jump. Jump. <laughs> get out of there, man. I don't know which one we're attacking. I think it's the one with less health. Which is good. That's the one that I want to be attacking. I just want to get rid of one of them to make it uh, easier to deal with the pair. Wait, can we not take damage while we're flying in the air? We are in a spot right now, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, you know what? Cyclone. Get rid of some of those frogs. Do a bit of damage. Hey, there we go. One's down. Uh, do we have a seed? He's about to jump. Okay. Do we have a seed? Because there's a bunch of shit floating around, and we need to drink an antidote before we take too much damage from the poison. The only seed we have is... Oh, grape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grape will work. Oh, damn it. So much poison. Thankfully, there's an onion on the ground. Oh, shit. I just realized, too, that our painkiller wore off again. Uh, okay. That means antidote quickly. Am I out of antidote? Oh, shit. Okay. Um, drink the painkiller then. And then just try to, to kill him quick, maybe? Jump. Oh, shit. We're actually out of pow. I didn't realize we were that low on it. Like I heard the I heard, I heard the sound. I'm just dumb. 
Oh, we took so much damage. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Fuck. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to go heal. I was trying to avoid it, but no, we are we are very, very hurt. We're taking damage from that. Um Do we have a level zero? We don't. We don't even have a level zero material to make an antidote. Well, this is going well. <laughs> it's fine. Eat some eat some maples. That's what we got them for. Freaking frog, dude. Why are frogs the bane of my existence? <laughs> Eat the navel. All the navel, please. Alright, hurry up and get rid of this freaking guy, because he's just going to spawn in more people if we don't. Hey, there's another onion. That'd come in uh, handy to make an antidote if we had a freaking level zero material. Come on, you're so close to dying. Just die. Just die, please. I don't care if we get run out of energy or whatever, just die. <laughs> Alright. Just gotta take care of the stupid frog now. Try not to die doing that. We are good. Holy hell. We're, I'm sure we're gonna get a low grade, so all we're probably gonna get is a uh, level zero... Or not a level zero material. I would like to get one. No, we're probably just going to get the, the gold or whatever. Oh, we got a C, so we might get something else to go with it. A level zero material. That's excellent, actually. Thank you for that, game. So what all do we have? I think we have a couple health potions in our inventory. So we don't need to craft any more of those right away. Um, We have, what, one use of painkiller left? Let's run, do a lap, see if we can get any cubs bane. Because if we can, we'll make more painkiller. If we can't, then we'll maybe make like a fire spirit or, or something. Yeah, okay. Fire spirit it is. Also, hi, Fozon. Are there any more floating around? No. Yes. Oh, shit. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay, I think it was what? Level two and a turnip? Uh, go ahead and eat the grape. Take the experience and health. Level zero. Mix you with none of this stuff. A core. And again, same thing. Level one and a core. Now, two sounds a bit low, doesn't it? For a fire thing. It's probably level six or some shit. What is O? Hold on. Text. Alchemy. L M N O. Oh, ooze. Yeah, no, fuck the ooze. We don't need that. Level six. Okay, we can probably get to level six. Two with a navel four. That gets us to three. What do we have extra of floating around that we can that we can get rid of? Um, onions. We have a couple extra onions in our inventory. So level three and an onion to get to four. Four and a grape stem. To get to five. Five and probably another onion. Although having napalms would be nice, so I don't want to use all the onions. Uh, but it doesn't look like we have a choice right now. So onion to get to six. And you and a turnip fire spirits. That'll make us temporarily invulnerable to damage, which is very tasty. I do like that. We have a little bit of a health potion. We got a bunch of elixir whenever we finally get some actual health levels. Um, and right now we are full on health, so we are good to fight this boss. We're going to do the same thing where we save before, just in case we find that we absolutely cannot beat this boss for some reason. We have somewhere to go back to, so to go do some grinding for, I don't know, probably carrots for health potions and, and materials for health potions. Honestly. It's with enough health potions, basically anything is possible, right? That's how that works. Who are we fighting here?
グエンドリン様をお運びいたしましたああそれでいいあとはわしがやるお前たちは先に戻れさあここにはもうわしだけだ出てくるのだ気づいていたのね無事な姿を見られて嬉しいぞベルベットその安堵が本心からならあなたの心をおもんばかった娘に罰を与えるはずはないグエンドリンを気に病んだか王が国宝を犯した者を罰さぬわけにはいかぬだろうそれでも人の親だというのかあなたはまさしくそやつの本性よおじい様ボロクズのようなこの資料がバレンタイン王だと申したか王ダインお前ほど低劣な男はおらぬが無礼に関してはどうこうしておるなあの人を奪った心の人は悪魔に命じはいるまい悪魔はその通りだこの手で最愛の宝を握りつぶしたかぼそく消えいる声が通るあの首をこの指で締めてお母さんついに戻れるようにと世がどれほどあれに愛を注いだかわかるかそうせずにはおられなかったこの生き通りがあの子はこの追い漏れのすべてだった皆は心しの王と罵のしり大苦労蛇だと恐れる今日とそうだと思う Bro, Velvet may have the saddest story of them all. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. What the hell is Odin Sphere?、Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a game. <laughs>、um, so, you play as what is it, five different characters,、um, and their timelines all intermingle with each other,、uh, overall telling a story of trying to prevent the end of the world through, through some sort of calamity that has to do with a, a small dragon, basically.、Um, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, is Odin's Fear itself an item or something in the game? I don't think so. I think it's just kind of referring to Odin and he has like a giant sphere weapon. You know, it's a, it's a ball and chain is his weapon.、Um, so it may be like playing into that. Odin's one of the, the, the main bad guys, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think more than anything, like Rue said, I think it's just the title of the game more than anything, to be honest. But yeah, if it, if it was to relate to something in the game, I think that's where it would be coming from. Is the fact that, you know, Odin's one of the main, one of the main、uh, guys that you, you have to deal with and is It, it possibly more inadvertently, I would say, but definitely kind of、uh, bringing apart or bringing about the end of the world. And as you're about to see, yeah, see, he has a giant spear of a weapon. <laughs> Alright, l now might be a decent time to. Although things are actually going surprisingly well, but let's use another fire spear. Might as well use the stuff that we craft to make sure we get through the damn fight. Things are going much better than I honestly expected so far. I mean, granted, we're only like, what, a quarter of the way through the fight, but still, he's absorbing phosons for something. I'm assuming that means he's powering up some kind of attack. We need to recover our own power. 
Uh, which, that's right, we can't do while we're running around. Don't jinx yourself, yeah, honestly. Ow. It's fine. It's fine. I think we just ran out of painkiller. Not good, but that's okay. We still have a bunch of potions and... and a bunch of potions and uh, elixirs. I'd rather not use the elixirs right now if, if we don't absolutely have to. Because, you know, they heal a lot more damage than, than, than health that we have, or heal a lot more health than what we actually have right now. Ooh, okay, whoa, shit, dude. That dude outputs some fucking damage. What the fuck was that? <laughs> we went from like three quarters of health, zero, <laughs> in one attack, literally one attack. Um, okay, so, fuck me. I guess, uh, maybe we'll, <laughs> I told you, um, uh, maybe we'll save the fire spirits until the painkiller runs out, right? Use the painkiller and the healing stuff first, and then use the invulnerability later. If it's gonna be, if it's gonna be like that. We can kind of dodge his attacks. He, he sort of... Um, shows shows his hand there, right? What he's gonna be doing, kind of. Just gotta react quick. I wish there was like animation canceling. All right, get away from get away from the ball. The ball is evil. <laughs> the ball hurts like fucking hell, man. Does he always throw it forward, or will he turn around with it? He will turn around with it. Yeah, see, that freaking hurts, man. Okay, so now I don't think he heals. I don't think. So we're just going to run the hell away and eat some food. I guess we just have muggles, but muggles are okay. They're not They're not terrible. I wish, <laughs> I wish his ball would destroy the fucking... Frogs. I'm just waiting for one of them to knock me down and basically get me murdered. What the hell? How did he hit us there? Okay. I thought we I thought we were doing a decent job dodging, but nope. Apparently not. Tis fine. Eat some more food. Get a little bit of health. And uh first sign of danger, take a fire spirit potion, which is now. And then find Odin, kick his ass. It's fine. Oh, hi. Odin oh, Odin came to us. Even better. <laughs> Seriously? What the fuck happened? How is he outputting so much damage out of nowhere? Okay. Did we get hit by, like, the ball and his fist at the same time or something? I'm honestly very confused on what happened there. Um, okay. Okay. Drink the painkiller. We can maybe make more painkiller with the carrot. I don't know if we have raw ingredients for it to, to get to the right level. But we might be able to do so. Yeah, his his attacks actually do kind of hurt, don't they? <laughs> At least with his fist, like his his eye beam thing and whatnot, not such a big deal. But whenever he actually like punches, that kind of hurts, man. Can't deny that. Okay, we need to let our power regenerate a little bit. So every time he stops, we just need to run the fuck away, or get on the other side of him, rather. And if we can stay close to him, that seems better. I'm gonna go ahead and use a thing now. It seems a bit early, because we still have painkiller, but that ball scares the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. And I think he is healing a little bit. The lag is unreal right now. I have no idea what's going on. 
Okay, I mean, like, we need health. Drink a health potion. Drink that. Ow. Okay, well, at least we got the at least we got the heal in. Um, I think the painkiller ran out. I just want the healing tonic, please. Get the fuck away. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, no. Don't get hit by that. Okay. Now we'll down the fire spirit. And then try to get in close. Oh, fuck. We haven't used... We haven't used our foes on burst yet. Maybe that can stun him. Maybe. That did fuck all. Excellent. <laughs> He's running around quick. Okay, we're back into we're back into the. Nope, he still got the ball out. I was hoping he had put the ball away. Put the damn ball away! <laughs> Stop playing with your ball, Odin. <laughs> okay, we still have we still have one hit left of invulnerability. We have no hits left of invulnerability. Drink the fire spirit. We don't even have to drink it. Time pause is excellent. All right, we are we are very close to being in a bad spot though. We have no more fire spirit potions. We have no... Okay. Yep. And those are all gone. Excellent. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. We have no painkiller, no fire spirits. We need power. Oh, God. And he got the stupid ball back. This is where we die in one hit. We're so close. Okay. If anything, though, we know that we can fucking beat him. We can do it. We just got to stay close, output a shit ton of damage as quickly as possible. And always try to stay on the opposite side of him. Holy fuck. Okay. I'm glad we saved some muggles and things, though, to make some some real food. Because uh, we definitely need to get some more some more health on her. She just does not have the, uh, the defense to deal with this shit. Is using painkiller at the beginning the best move? Maybe we wait to use the painkiller... Yeah, just do damage without taking damage. That's all you got to do. Um, maybe we save the painkiller until he pulls out the ball. Because the ball seems to do the most damage to us. So we just do our best here in the first phase to dodge him as much as possible. And then we're going to... Yeah, we took a hit there. It's fine. Uh, stop fucking run the fuck away I still think that's the right move honestly even though he killed us so easily right there I still think that's the right move fire spirit first get him get him to the phase where he starts pulling his balls out and then use the painkiller so that maybe we'll survive more than one hit That's our strategy. We just gotta do a little bit better at dodging. It sucks because, like, like I said, there's no animation canceling. So it's like, anytime we, we do a big combo, we just kind of get stuck into it. Which hurts. Literally sometimes. <laughs> And these stupid frogs, too, man. Like, because they, anytime they hit us, they take one of our, uh, one of our hits of, in, of invulnerability that we have. Okay, he pulled out the thing. Use the painkiller. Drink that quickly. He is healing, but just not much. Fuck, that was dumb. That was dumb. Thank God we still had one hit of invulnerability left. Um, do we use another fire spirit? Yes. I think we do. We gotta we gotta try and get this damage output as much and as quickly as pod jump over him, damn it. The frog is eating up my hits of invulnerability. I don't appreciate that. Hey Odin, do me a favor, leave your balls away. <laughs> Cyclone this direction. Go away, frogs. <laughs> You just had the laptop hinge repaired and it broke again already? Dude, that fucking sucks. Uh, get on the other side of Odin, please, and thank you. Other side, other side. Okay, we have one more hit left. I... Okay, we have no more hits left. 
uh, Fire Spirit before we fucking die. There goes 200. It costs 200 to have it repaired and it broke already. Dude, that's fucking whack. Holy hell, man. Yeah, that's terrible. Come on. Stop fucking playing with your balls, Odin. Okay, we need to run away and heal. We did not do as much damage as I had hoped. <laughs> Honestly, I'd kind of hoped to kill him before we ran out of stuff. Uh, but it's fine. Oh, hi! <laughs> you, you made your way over here really quick. Uh, and again, <laughs> just duct tape it. There you go. Yeah, just duct tape it, man. It's fine. Oh, God. Leave your balls out of this, Odin. Oh, fuck, man. It's fine. Deep breath. Everything's fine. What else? What else can we do? I didn't expect him to kill us in one hit. I'll be honest. I knew we were low defense. Didn't have a shit ton of health, but I didn't think we were one hit KO territory. Um, is there anything else we can do? We can maybe overworld seed. Uh, we have a couple onions. Muggle. I think fruit gives. Ah, uh, man. But we don't have any level zero material, so that that's useless. I was going to say maybe we can uh, use the fruit, because I'm pretty sure it gives more than one level of, of shit to the material. Like, adds more than one level to the material, so we could craft more fire spirits or something. Or painkiller. But without, without any... Um, Without any goes on burst level zero materials to start with, then it doesn't do us any good. More cycling, just just anything to get some damage output, man. Stop doing special moves. I really didn't mean to do a special move. We're about to get hit. How did he miss? Okay, well that one definitely didn't miss. Holy fuck. Okay, run away. If there's ever been a time for a healing potion, it's now. <laughs> down that bitch, down it quick, and then fire spirit before he spawns in. Okay, he has the ball. We'll wait until we run out of fire spirit, I guess, to, to, to use the painkiller. We have to we have to stop moving for a moment to recover. He's running. Are we are we can he not hit us when we're standing or sitting right here? No, he definitely can. Okay, you know what? We were down to one, which isn't zero, but it's close enough that I feel like taking the painkiller now is a good bet. Okay. Glad we missed that. And the fact that he threw away his ball for a minute means we have a second to try and get some damage on him. It's already coming back to him. Okay. Actually, it's like coming straight for us. I want to eat. I just want to get up to the next level and get a heal. Don't let the ball hit us. Oh, did the ball disappear? I think it disappeared. Okay. As soon as that ball appears, we're going straight into another... Straight and oh shit, we got fucking poisoned by the frog. Really? Do we have any antidote? I don't think we do, do we? This is bad. We do not. And we still don't have any level zero shit. Um. Okay, just take the fire spirit. We can't afford any any more damage. Especially since the, the poison's gonna be hurting the shit out of us. Oh, actually, the ball appeared now anyway, so it's probably a pretty decent time for it. She's so close, man. Okay, 
Okay, we still have two more hits we can take. Uh, come on, pow, 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 pow. Still have one more hit we can take. Okay, we don't have any hits we can take. We need, we need full health. We need full fucking health. We're gonna die. Holy fuck. Okay. Holy shit, dude. Can you, like, throw the ball, get rid of it or something? Instead of just having it over here? Oh, he fucking missed. He fucking missed. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Fucking go, dude. Just a few more fucking hits. Lag. Don't fuck with me, lag. Thank Jesus fuck. Holy shit. Okay. Huh. He's done. <laughs> he fucking did. He died. Whatever. I can't even talk. Thank God. Okay. I can actually read the message. You have to glue it a certain way. It was just over a month, so at least it did last a bit. Kind of sucks you went through the trouble of upgrading it, but that just means I can put in a new one, I guess. Still sucks, though, man, that you paid $200 for it and it was broke. Or, or and has broke again already. よってくるのを待っていたぞ。さあ、ベルベットも下がるのだ。貴様、やられた不良。どうかな。サイファーを食らって無事で済む者はおるまい。だがお前をこのまま握りつぶす力はこの腕に残しているぞ。why couldn't she love both? What? Dude. この苦しみの癒しを願っていたのだ。それはお母様の手記。怒りに目がくらんで何とおろかな衝動か。助けてやることもできたのに。この手。so what I'm taking from this game as a whole is just old dudes or the devil. <laughs> just all old dudes are evil. It <laughs> doesn't matter who they are. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do it out now, like his facial animations. <laughs> you don't like the the nice little tentacle things, just just tentacling all over the place. Just <laughs> たとえ王の娘であっても。あなたもおじい様と同じ。失ってその宝の価値を知るのでしょう。あなたを愛するのが誰なのか。これ以上悪いようにはせぬ。もう心配するな。
New text archive added. What do we get? I'm assuming it's another part of the, the prophecy. Or no, it's our mother's note, part two. My dearest son, more precious than life, you have your mother's forgiveness. My daughter, go without hesitation and let your mother's love grant you courage. My father, your daughter's love remains unchanged, always by your side. To the one who will cause the world harm, I pray that your soul will heal. Their mother sounds like a pretty decent person. Too bad she was murdered by an old dude. <laughs> Just like, fuck, dude. He lies, he is wrong. Wait, who lies? Who's wrong? Oh, when he said it won't get any worse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that for a moment. Holy shit, dude. It's been almost another hour. Time's fucking flying. Uh, before we take our break, though, we are going to see if we can make any sorbet or anything like that. I tried to keep some food specifically for cooking, so hopefully we can make something to help out our uh, health level a little bit. Whether it's, it's some some muggle sorbet or, or mulberry ice cream or something, I don't know, man, just something. Whenever the game loads this single room with one character in it. Game, please. There we go. Thank God. After having like two or three games just like break on us, I'm always worried whenever we get to a loading screen and it just takes longer than usual. I'm like, oh God, is there a random scratch on the disc that's going to stop it from going anywhere? But no, so far so good. Uh, okay, we don't have the stuff to make that. Or that. Or that. We can make muggle confit. <laughs> Wasn't there a mulberry one, though, too? Oh, we can make... We just need to buy some, an egg, which I'm pretty sure we can buy here. So we need to keep one muggle and one mulberry, which should mean we have, what, one one mulberry and one muggle that we can do something with? Ooh, that's even better. Oh, we don't have any naples, though, so we can't, we can't make that one. Okay. Where was... Where was the one we can make? The... the confeed that one we'll make that yes please that should give us a little bit of health stuff experience not as much as i had hoped maybe uh yes leave the restaurant because i can't remember exactly how many muggles we have in our inventory i want to make sure to be able to make that better one the one that gives us like 2000 experience points So you, Mr. Shopkeep, sir, I would like to buy some eggs. You don't sell eggs? Excuse me, sir? Since when? I thought you sold eggs. <laughs> well, fuck. Okay. That's not helpful at all. God damn it. Um, you don't sell anything, do you? No. And uh, you shouldn't either. Because I, I would probably say shop over their head if they did. Or no, I guess that one just says talk to. But none of them sell anything. God damn it. Okay, what do we have in our inventory? We have... One more muggle. So we can make one of those, at least. I can't believe we don't have any eggs. And then, can we make a salad? Is it turnip, onion, carrot for a salad? Maybe. We'll check the other shop, too, but might as well make that one more muggle confit or however the hell you pronounce it. 500 experience is still more than we would get for just eating the, the muggle on its own. Oh, God. Gotta wait for this loading screen again. I forgot. <laughs> I don't know why it's struggling so much to load this one specific area. Especially because it's such a small one, you know? We can load into a whole, like, world quicker than we can load into the, the fucking sweet shop. I would like your finest whatever the hell I can afford. It's still weird as hell that this is a restaurant where you have to bring your own ingredients. Like, bruh. Man, I'm so mad that we don't have 
an egg. I could have swore they sold eggs. One more question. Ask away, man. Why rabbits? Uh, so they're technically pukas, and the, the goblins and the pukas are uh, related to each other. They are the people from the Valentin Valentine Kingdom, Valentinia, whatever the hell it's called, that have been cursed. Um, and the curse, the people with good hearts were turned into rabbit people, pukas. The people with bad hearts were turned into the goblins. And uh, the only way for them to return that they know of is to collect all of the currency that has been imbued with magic by, by that tentacle dude that you just wanted to die. Um, if all of the coins that he blessed are collected back together, they can apparently break the curse. Um, at least that's what they believe. And that's why they like run shops and sell stuff and whatnot, because they're trying to to collect their money, and they only accept that money at least in their in their restaurants. Um, and then the goblins, they are trying to collect it to throw it into a uh, volcano. I don't know why, because I don't think I don't think that'll break the curse. I don't really remember what's up with that. If Rue can hear, they might be able to explain that. I don't know. But yeah, so they were they were they were people of a kingdom that are now cursed, that's all. Coins have to be collected willingly. Explain what? Um why did the uh why did the the why do the goblins want to collect the coins and throw them in the the volcano instead of like collecting them all to break the curse? We can make a salad, so we'll probably make a salad. Yes. Yeah, the, the tentacle old man cursed them, to the best of my memory at least. Again, Rue can correct me if I'm wrong, because they know much more about the story of the game than I do off the top of my head. Chicken. I'm just seeing if there's anything else we can make other than salad, but no. Salad's the only thing we can make. Which is fine. We'll make a salad. That should get us up to level 21, maybe, or at least really close to level 21. They were ordered to be Valentine, and because they wanted to stick it to the Pukas because of Infinity... Bleh. Okay, yeah, because they... Their, their evil hearts got them turned into goblins, so they're like, hey, fuck you guys. <laughs> we'll just make it so you can never return to your, to your original form, essentially, then? Okay, that kind of makes sense, I guess. But alright, I am going to go ahead and take my break just for a few minutes, like three to five minutes, guys, so we can run an ad so we don't have anything happen in the middle of the gameplay. Also gives everyone, including myself, a chance to stand up and stretch. I suggest you do the same. It's good for you guys. I know my legs hurt after sitting here for hours on end. So we're going to go over and do that. We'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. To be a software developer uh, engineer. And, uh... So, like, we did a lot of stuff on the computer, you know, writing programs and, and making websites and fixing, uh, you know, pre-made programs that were meant to be broke. Uh, and then, like, we we did have to write some papers for, like, computer theory and stuff like that, but there wasn't that many, thankfully. You love cookout food, but it's the out part that bugs me. Oh, you're the worst, Noodle. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Fair stream, you missed junior college. Most going to university sucks. You don't have your friends there. Yeah, I, I would have been a lot worse, I think, if it weren't for being able to hang out with, with the, a couple people that I really liked there. It's like me and one of my good buddies, we would go from there and then like go to one of the local malls and get coffee and shit like that and just hang out. It was really fun. Now me and him never really get to hang out anymore. Getting old sucks. <laughs> Look like one of those cartoon bottles that had triple X on it or would have triple X on it. Okay, okay. The little tipsy over here, huh? <laughs> Sis major emphasis in cybersecurity. I'm so glad I didn't go for programming. I suck at it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I, I found that it was a... Uh, it was a great choice for me personally. And I kind of thought it would be, I had begun to learn C++ development before I entered college. And so I already knew that I kind of liked it. Um, and then I, I found a local college, relatively cheap, that 
had classes geared specifically for that, so. I feel like some of this information he's telling us is probably useful, but... <laughs> Should probably pay a little bit of attention to what they're talking about here every once in a while. Once and again. The only regret I actually have about college, outside of all of the debt that I went into for years, is uh, that like I don't really get to use my degree all that often, you know? I use it on my own time, making websites and, and developing video games and, and stuff, but yeah. Seriously, don't ever tell anyone, but on the final we had... I don't know if this is the right place to, to share a secret. It's kind of a <laughs> live broadcast to the world here. <laughs> but, uh, got awful projects, you won't lie. Use your uncle as a resource for the first class when it came to it. Okay, the ad's still running, so we're not going to like actually start up the game. It'll end in like really shortly, though. Uh, but anyways, I did feel like I should probably mention, because I completely forgot about it, that the uh, this game, if anyone is interested out there, obviously it's on the PS2, hence, you know, the version that we're playing right here. But there is a remake that is much uh, more user-friendly, from what I've been told, for the PlayStation 4. I think it's called, like, uh, Odin Sphere Left something. I forget. It's, it's a German word, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, point is, if you wanted to play the game, I would highly suggest that one, just based off of what I've been told by people like Rue and Valkyrie and things like that. Thank you, yes. Um, there's a lot of quality of life improvements. Uh, the lag problems have been fixed. There's a storage space for items, like all kinds of all kinds of things to just make the game a better experience. So if anyone is interested in playing the game, I would highly suggest that one. If I ever return to the game, that's definitely the version I'll uh, be returning to. And I would like to at some point because the changes they made sound awesome. <laughs> I kind of wish that's the version I was playing. But, you know, it's PlayStation 2 gauntlet, not PlayStation 4. Yet, maybe in like 40 years we'll get around to that. Anyways, break is definitely over by now, so let's go ahead and get back to the game, shall we? There was no other recipes that we need to make or anything like that. Our inventory is empty as shit. Where are we going? Somewhere with, um, carrots would be really nice because, you know, healing potions. I don't feel like the Titania Capital had any. I mean, we have a handful of elixir potions, so that, that'll help. You know, that's some healing that we can do. And there's only two chapters left, you know, well, this one and then the epilogue. Um, so maybe we'll be okay with, yes. with what we have. But since we're still relatively low on health, some regular healing potions would actually be nice too. And painkiller. Oh, God. Painkiller would be fantastic. All of them? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> you really need to, to be a little more careful with those things. Uh, corny boy. その方の名は何とおっしゃったかしら。コルネリウスという名前です。とても強い方ですよ。コルネリウス様ですって。まさかコルネリウス。<笑> Ingwe is her brother, by the way, and uh, he turned her lover, Prince Cornelius, into a puka because he's an asshole. There's really no good reason for it. He's just an asshole. That's <laughs> so. Yeah, just to clear that up.
sister complex? I guess, man, something. I still don't understand it, to be honest with you. Like, he was a good guy, the prince of a kingdom, um, never did anything wrong to your sister, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't I don't understand the hate, but, oh God, do we have to fight the wizards? Are the wizards gonna be here? The wizards are the worst thing in the entire fucking game, man. Where, where is everyone? Oh, good, yes, wizards. I fucking hate the wizards. <laughs> the, the wizards that actually, like, stay and fight aren't that big of a deal, but the ones that teleport away every fucking time... Every fucking time you hit them are a pain in the ass. Also, these guys with their laser eye beams that dizzify you every time they fucking touch you are also annoying as shit. Damn, those floating eyeballs? Yes. I don't hate them nearly as much as I hate the wizards, though, to be completely honest. But yes, damn them to hell. <laughs> Alright, one down. Oh god, some ooze, too. My fucking favorite. We don't have any napalm. We don't have enough cipher for magic. Well, we can use one... <laughs> we can use one uh, fucking cyclone to try to take this thing down. I don't think that's going to be enough. What is that? Oh, good. We can go invisible. Whenever you're invisible, you take no damage, but you also can't physically attack anything. Yep. And the magic did fuck all. Oh, my God. I hate Titania. <laughs> Titania is the worst level in the game, man. It sucks so much. Oh, no, but habanero. Um, okay, can we make anything? What do we have in our inventory? Oh, fuck, that was stupid. No, we don't have any level zero shit, so we can't actually make anything. I was hoping to be able to make, like, a napalm or something to take this thing out. Because like the uh, like the the slimes and shit in Final Fantasy, they are basically invulnerable to physical damage, but they're also tanky as hell. So like, <laughs> they're super fucking annoying. And if they get a hold of you, they do a bunch of fucking damage, man. What about our special attack? Will that do anything to them? I can't tell if that actually hurt them. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. It seems like our special attack at least does damage to them. Thank God. <laughs> I did not want to spend all day just slowly whittling that thing down. Our rank sucks because of how long we, we spent dealing with it, but whatever, we got there. We'll take our one piece of gold and go. <laughs> Trash. Oh, do we have the Cypher Heal ability yet? Um... We don't. That sucks. That would have came in handy. Uh, do I just eat the malt berry? No, I'll save them to put in potions, I think. Oh, good. More eyeballs. My favorite. Oh, shit, dude. That kind of hurt. Absorb. Absorb. Level one. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Now, where are the eyeballs? Uh, eyeballs? Hello? Okay, there we go. That should be close enough. Cyclone! Uh, okay, well. <laughs> it didn't do shit. <laughs> I think the cyclone wasn't high enough to, to take him out. That's alright. We're good. Definitely need to take a healing potion, though. Let's do that. And if we're lucky, maybe we'll get a high enough level on this one that we can get a material. We got an S rank. That's a good sign. Material, please. Any kind. Thank fuck. We're simile, mulberries. Um. Okay. Now, what do we have? Do we make fire spirits for invulnerability or more health potions? We have nine elixirs, which each one is a full heal for sure. We can make muggle for a little bit of XP. We could just grow that. Or we can grow two sets of mulberry and mix with... 
Uh, I think we've got to make the muggle. As much as I hate muggles, we need we need more health, man. So let's do that. And then... What do we want to do for potion-wise, though? I guess we will make a fire spirit potion. I put these in the wrong spot because I'm an idiot. Yeah, because, I mean... What do we have? We have 344. I guess maybe a... Oh, uh, fuck. Or painkiller. I think painkiller's... No, because if we end up fighting a boss again that can one hit kill us, the fire spirit I think is more useful in that case. So we're gonna we're gonna do the fire spirit. I've done decided. Fire or ice, it doesn't really matter which one. Um But I think I think we're gonna go with fire. So we'll use the the mall berries that we have, since they give so little health and experience. We'll use those to do to level up our potion to what was it, six? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was six. I hope it was, otherwise uh, that's gonna suck. And we'll take the five and mix it with a mulberry seed. And then take that and mix with F. Well, turn up to make F. Hopefully we don't end up regretting that. Uh, we don't have a map, but there's only one way to go. So let's go that way. Seems like a seems like a decent plan. Only got one direction we can go. Let's go that way, man. All right, what's gonna spawn in? Kind of encountered. Wait, is it a shop? Maybe it's a shop. Nope, nope. There it is. Oh god, there's so many. Uh, okay. Good time for a cyclone that might take out couple of them. Probably not. Get rid of the eyeballs first. Because if they keep dizzifying us, that'd be annoying as hell. And they're just... They have relatively little health. But they do that. <laughs> and that is a serious fucking problem. Okay. They're all dealt with. Holy fuck, we're dead. Holy shit, we're not dead. <laughs> okay. Um... Hey, let's, uh, I guess, I guess we just, we're going to have to use an elixir. I was trying to prevent using them as much as possible until we get to, like, the bosses, but holy hell, man. Um, oh, fuck, dude, what we get dizzy by? There's an eyeball. I didn't even see the fucking eyeball, man. Go the fuck away. <laughs> holy shit. Are you a teleporting wizard? I think that's a teleporting wizard. Fuck me, dude. Our rank's gonna be trash on this one. We can put out the fire just by running, thankfully. Oh, you know what would probably be a decent idea? Nope. Okay, that did fuck all. I was thinking maybe the, uh, the nice charge attack would... Do some actual damage to the to the wizard, but I guess not. Man, I really don't want to drink another elixir already, but I think we're gonna have to. 120 experience. That's not gonna that's not gonna take us over the the hump. We're gonna be in for a rough time. <laughs> we might end up having to. Uh... Oh, good. He's 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 stunned. He's stunned. Fuck. Okay. He was actually really low on health, so I can't help but wonder, maybe, maybe the, uh, that there did work. Yeah, okay. That attack does a lot more damage than I realized. Fuck. I, what did I, did I just Fozon release? I definitely did not mean to Fozon release. I didn't realize this was a high level encounter either. Like get fucked, I guess. Us, that is. Not not them. Oh my god, so many eyeballs. Go away, dude. Oh, we actually stunned you? Just die. Just die. We can, we can absorb bosons real quickly. Ah, fuck. We're dizzy. God damn it. The eyeballs, dude. 
I just want to absorb some of these Fozons before they all disappear. There's so many of them. Fuck! Oh my god, we're using so much of our elixir too. This is bad. This is really bad for us. This is not going well. We have like so little defense, man. Uh, okay, I think we actually killed a couple of them. Will the Cyclone get rid of the fire? It will. Oh, good. He's trying to poison us. He, it worked. He poisoned us. Good job. Uh, I don't really have any rebuttal for that. Just, yep, you got me. God. Can you just spawn in, maybe? Not the swords, just like, can you spawn in? More eyeballs. Why are there still eyeballs floating around, man? How are you not all dead by now? Are the wizards, like, spawning in the eyeballs or something? It's also clear that we are going to need to make some, some antidote. Because we are, we're, we're, this poison stuff is, is bullshit. We don't have an empty material, right? No. Okay, I think he's dead. So now is it just the slimes? I hope to fuck, it's just the slimes. And we can take care of them at a distance using our, uh, our special. So that should be you gone. Please, no more spawn in. Please be the end. Thank God. Okay. Um, man, I really... <laughs> I really wish we had the ability to heal between levels. That would be a huge boon to us right now. But we don't. Let's see what we get from here. Material? No, just a gold. I really don't need the gold. Um, okay, last ditch effort. We can Phozon release and absorb the Phozons to get to level 25. And when we get to 25, maybe we'll get a new a new spell. And that spell will be... I don't think... No, we're not even going to get to 24. Holy hell. Hi there, would you like to sign my petition? What is, what is your petition, Hattie? Also, hello. <laughs> All right. Um, did that give us a new spell? No. I think we just got the invisible spell not too long ago, so the chances of us getting another one is pretty, pretty low. Um, shit, dude. I think we're basically screwed. Okay. We'll eat the muggle. Sign my petition. I don't know what the petition is. <laughs> um, how much do you need? Eight Fozons to grow? We can do that with our Fozon release. We can get enough for that there. And then... I mean, that's a little bit more health that we can get. That's that's actually a, a thing that I didn't think of, you know? With the Muggle, as much as I hate them, since they always give you a seed that... Um, after you eat them, you can kind of use that to just continue getting more and more Muggles, which is nice for our experience. They don't give the most, but it's some. They can't read jokes on you, pal. You're very confused. I think we're all a little confused at the moment. Alright. Fire Spirit, you can go there. Seed, you can go there. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Fuck, dude. We didn't even get a blank material, did we? To do anything with. We didn't. So we're basically still just hoping for the best. Um, let's go up, question mark. I don't know where the boss is. I'm hoping this isn't like another level five encounter. I'm assuming that was a level five encounter. This should be a shop, yes. 
Okay. Uh, do you sell any material? Blank material. You do. I am going to buy one of those because, God, I need help. Um... Okay, we can we can buy another one too, actually, which isn't a terrible idea. So, uh, shopkeep, hi. I would like another one, actually, if you don't mind, sir. With the other titanium gold that we have. Unless they're dad jokes, bad puns, or obvious, you don't normally. <laughs> uh, okay, what do we have? What can we make? We have habaneros. We have a turnip, a carrot, and an onion. We want to use one of these and mix with the onion. We know that much because we want an antidote in case we get into a poison loop again. So we'll definitely do that. And then, so we have carrot, turnip, and habanero. What potions can we make with that? Anything helpful? Antidote, no. Blizzard, no. Cooler, drain, elixir. Fire spirit. Uh, salsa. <laughs> I do love some salsa. I don't think that's going to do us much good right now, though. If we can get to level six, we can make more fire spirit. Um, or ice spirits. I feel like the fire spirits are probably going to be the better option just because since it gives you habaneros here, I feel like stuff are going to be resistant to the ice. But I don't actually know that to be true. We can make Killer Cloud, which is whatever. Napalm, we use the onion. Use is trash. Cubsbane or carrot? Quick grow. Regen. Regen with the turnip. Ah, that's a good... That's a good option. Level 8 for the regen. Never played... Oh, yeah, no. I've never played Postal 2. I know of it, but I've never played it. Zero timer, I don't care about that, honestly. Unlimited POW? Ooh. You only need level 2 for unlimited POW? Uh, okay, so... Shit. That doesn't really help with our health problem, though. That's gonna be, like... That's gonna be option number 2, right? Let's get the regen potion first, if we can. That's a level 8. And then we'll, we'll maybe try and get a, uh... Unlimited POW, because that would be very nice. Uh, mix you with the mulberry to get us straight to five. <laughs> no, Olivia Munn said it was bad for me. <laughs> oh, God, man. Uh, okay, so that'll take us to six. We... Habanero spawn all over the place here. So let's mix that with the habanero to get to six. And then we can use... I think we have another seed, don't we? Yeah, mulberry seed. That'll get us to seven. And then... We can use another habanero to get us to eight. Again, they seem to spawn all over the place, so I don't mind using them. Oh, sh that was fucking stupid. <laughs> I can't believe I just drank that. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever, it's fine. There's our regen potion. I'm pretty sure that's only a one-time use potion. It is, so we're going to want to save that for a boss. Um, and then I, I was thinking of something while we were doing that. Oh, 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 muggle. Five. No, I think our foes on release only release like five, so we can't do that yet. But that's gonna be that's gonna be the next thing we do probably. Um, okay, I guess now we just kind of go to the next fight and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. It's definitely a combat round. Hopefully it's a low star combat round. Uh, is there going to be any combat? Are they going to spawn? I hear a squeak. There we go. I will take the habanero. Uh, this does not look like a particularly low combat star rating thing. I am glad we made that antidote. Fuck, we're already dead. <laughs> Shit, dude. That was quick. Alright, pay more attention to our health. Use an elixir if we need to. After we wait three years for it to spawn. A thing. Come on. Do we have painkiller? 
Oh god, why do things in this game take so long to load sometimes? We do not have painkiller, okay. I didn't think we did, but I couldn't remember. Oh good, we got some poison on the uh, on the dude. On the wizard. Oh, he's a stupid wizard. The, the ones that run away constantly. The ones that suck, honestly. Okay, we just need to stay on the ground for a minute so we can regain our pal. There we go. We're fine. I don't care about the time. I don't care about getting a good rating on the fight. I just want to not die. Is that a... Is that an eyeball? I think that's an eyeball. No, that wasn't an eyeball. That's an eyeball, though. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Eyeball, sir. I'm trying to hit you. Holy shit, why can I not hit you? <laughs> I don't want to be stunned. I think he's dead. Hopefully that was the annoying one that res or not respawns, but teleports constantly. I think it was. Oh, hi. Um, hold on, I don't have any pow. Is that the last of them? No, there's another goblin. The goblins aren't that bad, though, usually. They can be a real pain in groups, especially, but... And they do that, which sucks. Holy fuck. Okay. We're still alive. Uh, not for long, though. Elixir, please? <laughs> uh, elixir first, and then antidote. I wonder... I don't know if poison will ever kill you, or it just takes you down to one. Don't get hit by the knife. That would be bad. Thank God. That was a. That must have only been like a level two or something encounter. That wasn't too bad. We're at full health going into the next round. That's good. We have two levels of that, so we can grow a Muggle. We'll do that so we can get more life experience or health experience. I mean, and a bunch of other seeds. Uh, some Naples would be great right now. Okay, take you, take you. Just take everything, please. Naple, Mulberry, Muggle. Uh, I guess we just go up. I don't really know where anything's going to take us, so just any direction's fine. Uh, let's do a quick lap to see if we can get any more Habaneras or anything. A Cubs Bane, maybe. I don't think it's even possible for carrots to spawn in here, but that would be the best. No, nothing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, there's something right here. Uh, turn up. We'll take it. And we'll go. All right, fingers crossed, man. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too bad of an encounter. What do we got? A dead end. Dead ends usually mean high-level encounters, um, but with decent rewards. So let's plan a Naple. Do we have another Naple? No, we have a Muggle, Mulberry, and another Muggle. Or two Mulberries and a Muggle. All right, it's fine. Okay, try and take out these groups of freaking goblins if we can. We're already poisoned. I want to get rid of the goblins before I heal the poison. Fuck. We're so dead, man. I just need to get the fuck away. Okay. Elixir. Again, hopefully <laughs> that can't actually kill us. The, the poison. So far, it seems like it'll only ever take us to one, which is really handy for us. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to use the antidote because they'll just end up poisoning us again, and then we're gonna have to deal with it all over again and have no antidote for later. Okay, I don't care about the ooze. Just kill that guy, please. Excellent. Okay, we're alive. Take the antidote now. The problem is there's probably gonna be another wave. There's a very strong chance there's gonna be another wave. That sucks. Why did that hit the sword? Oh shit, there's another one. I thought you were all dead. <laughs> uh, die, please? You're a teleporting one. Get rid of the ooze. Damn it, what did you attack? 
Whatever you attack, that's not what I wanted. And we're poisoned again. Shit, dude. We are out of everything. Um. <laughs> okay. We need to use another elixir, I think. This is gonna... What is it even attacking? I think it's attacking, like, the swords and shit. The useless stuff, like... I don't want you to attack that. I want you to attack the goddamn wizards. Uh, we only got one Naple from that. That sucks, but... Uh, that attacked a chest. <laughs> I, I don't care about the fucking chest, dude. You can leave the chest. Just attack the fucking wizard, please. Thank you. Now, wave two, I'm assuming? Wait, what's still alive? There must be something still alive since... Oh, nope. There's wave two. It just took a minute. We're so fucked. We are so fucked. <laughs> And we have level two poison. This is going well. Um, hmm. Drink another elixir. We're going to end up using all of our elixirs and have to rely entirely on the fucking regen. <laughs> this can't be good for me, but you feel great. As long as you're enjoying yourself. We are taking so much damage. Uh... Okay, we should probably get away. Especially since there's this disifying fucking thing. What's over here? A level zero material. A level zero material. Uh... Okay. We have a carrot. We can make some regular potions with it. Yes. Or these give a lot of XP. We get three bites out of it. That we might be able to... If we can survive long enough. Okay, first off, get rid of this thing, please. Eat another bite of Naple. I'm hoping this will be enough to get us to level 22 on the health gauge. Because if we get to level 22, we'll get a full heal with it. As well as, of course, just more health, which is <laughs> also very handy. Holy shit, there's so many things over here. Uh, go away. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. Okay. Level 22? Fuck! <laughs> that was so close. One bite of anything, basically, will get us to level 22 now. Oh, there's another turn up. That's handy, I suppose. There's more eyeballs over here. Can we kill the eyeballs, please? Fuck. <laughs> I can't even... Oh, God. Jesus, man. Okay. <sighs> Restart the stage. No. That doesn't do anything for us. Home. Return to the start of the level. So we could restart from the beginning if we need to. We're going to try this fight at least one more time. Open up our proper inventory. Is this the epilogue? No. There's. <laughs> we haven't even made it to the epilogue. I'm, I'm hoping to get to the epilogue today, but we have one more level, or one more chapter after this before the epilogue of, of her story, and then we have, you know, the proper epilogue. Um, I guess if we have to use regen, we'll use regen and the fire spirits, because I think, I think we're going to end up needing that uh, invulnerability to, to be able to properly deal with this shit. These things just output so much fucking damage, like... Um, no, not that. I want to go Fire Spirit. We have three uses of it. We'll use one. Oh, look at that. We already lost two of our invulnerability uh, hits. Man, that's excellent. God, this is such bullshit. Um, we never planted that Naval Seed like we did last time. We should probably go ahead and do that. Uh, and actually plant another one, or a muggle, I guess, something, because we know that this is going to be a super long encounter, and we know that the muggle alone isn't enough to to get us fully uh, to the next level. 
Another fire spirit. Because we're really close to dying. And an elixir. Might as well use up the, the partially used elixir. I don't even know what that hit. If anything. Like, did it even hit anything? Ow. Ow. <laughs> Where's the fucking eyeball at? I see it. It's running away. Okay. What is that attacking? Is it... Is it attacking the, the poison wells on the ground? Like... It's not helpful, whatever the hell it's attacking. Okay, I think that's one wizard down. Oh, did that actually... No, okay. I got excited. I thought it got rid of both wizards. Please. Game, just kill the other wizard. Okay. Um, Antidote. Our only use of it that we have left. Is that... Oh, it's a level zero material. Um... Okay, try and get rid of these things. No, don't fucking get dizzied. Uh, touch fuzzy, get dizzy bad. Okay, uh, da da da. I really don't want to use regen. This encounter is way harder than it has any right to be. Regen. We need the fucking health, dude. Come on, just fucking get rid of all. There's so many things happening. That's the fucking problem. Like, we can't do shit because there's just shit everywhere. And we're about to die. Even with the regen, we're about to fucking die. Get the hell out of here. Did anything grow yet? The muggle did. That's not going to be good enough. Use the last dose of that. Oh, God. Okay, do we have, do we have any more fire spirit? Or do we use it all? We might have used it all. It looks like we did. Son of a bitch, dude. Okay, I, I think that might have killed a couple things, which is handy. Maybe, or at least hit a couple things. Okay, that definitely killed a couple things. Uh, just fucking go away, wizard fuck. Can I get some bosons? Oh no, fuck you. Uh, we're poisoned again, dude. Uh, I think the regen is working faster than the poison. I think. Maybe? It's hard to say. Oh fuck, we're a frog. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Um, okay. I... Oh fuck, dude. We were, we're so close. We need a level four and a habanero. We should have a level or a habanero, I mean, that's good. Okay, so we have enough seats to make a level four. Oh my God, please game. Oh, oh God, <laughs> I can't, I can't fucking deal right now. The frog is so slow. Why is the frog so slow? Nothing else is this slow. We fight frogs all the time. And they don't have to crawl around this fucking slow. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't really want to use that, uh, even though we probably weren't going to use it for cooking. Oh, God. No. Please, game. Just let me... Where'd it go? Did I pick it up? No, it's, it's right there. Just let me fucking get to it, please. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Okay, it's fine. Okay, and I have an area. That makes metamorphosis. We're on fire. We're poisoned. We're a fucking frog. Oh, my God. I don't know what they just got hit by. Pick it up! Oh, God. We're dizzy now. Do we still have regen? I really hope we do. Stop with the dizzy shit! Metamorphosis. Holy fuck, dude. I really hope there's only two levels of this fucking bullshit. Or two encounters here, but there's a part of me that thinks there's gonna be a third. 
Uh, okay, 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 okay. If we eat the muggle... And then the Naple. I think that'll be enough to get us to level... Wait, why do we have two muggles? Did our Naple never grow? I think our Naple fucking died. Son of a bitch, dude. Okay. That's okay. We can deal with this. Our poison recovered. Come on. Fucking wizard. You fuck. Are you a teleporting wizard? No. Okay. So we can just deal with you that way. Please, no! There's more? Oh, man! Oh, fuck. That's really bad. We're dead. We're dead. Yep. Fuck, dude. Thank you so much for the five bits, Mr. Noodle. We're going to try one more time. And then... I guess restart the level. Or, yeah, restart the, the entire level. Like, from the beginning. Oh... Shit. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's, since we know we basically... Five bits for good luck. Thank you, love. Since we know we are basically going to have to use all of our stuff that we have anyways, we might as well just start using it from the get-go, right? Uh, please let me into my inventory. How can we... If it doesn't work, it wasn't me. <laughs> what the hell? How can we be on fire when we're literally channeling fire spirits to surround us at the moment? We are on level 3 fire. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Okay. Uh, elixir. Fire spirit the only other one we have so let's hope it works <laughs> and regen just get everything down okay you're dead there's more of you go a the fuck away you goblin fucks dude Okay, uh, let's get the fire put out. Please attack the ooze. Thank you. The ooze seem like they wouldn't be that big of a deal, but they actually really fucking suck, man. <laughs> yeah, we need to recover some pow. I think there's just the one wizard left. Maybe two wizards. Are you a teleporting one? You are. Come on, hit the wizard. Uh, okay, I think it hit him at least. Oh, no, 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 Get away from the ooze. I didn't know there was another ooze still. Okay, that's kind of bad, but as long as we recover quickly. Um, does that mean our trees grew? Wait, why aren't the trees... Okay, I was going to say, why, why are there still Fozons floating around if the trees haven't grown yet? Okay, we can get a uh, muggle, please be buffering real bad it's not on my end i don't think Just turn yeah no no no. it's not on my end so it must be must be on your end rue's been having some problems with it too so i don't know if it's maybe a twitch thing or if both of you just happen to have four internet connections at the moment oh that wasn't enough to kill the slime or no it was well shit well we only got the one naple we could have gotten two Wait, did that destroy the fucking Naple? No, there it is. Ow. Not cool, bro. Uh, we never used our antidote. Let's go ahead and take that. You can die if you don't mind, Mr. Goblin, sir. They just spawned so many things, man. Oh, God. Okay. Um... God damn it. This... I was wanting that to attack the wizard, <laughs> not the swords. Ow. 
What do we do? What do we even do? You're using 5G? I mean, even on 5G, like, sometimes things can just be stupid. Like, <laughs> your store's Wi-Fi still doesn't work? That's trash, dude. <laughs> okay, too many. Too many dudes. Get away. Can, can I just hit the eyeball, please? Okay. Another eyeball. Eyeballs. Stunned. We really don't want to get stunned. I would like to pick up the navel and get the fuck out of dodge. Jesus fuck, dude. Alright, yep. We're gonna have to restart and avoid <laughs> this encounter. <laughs> fuck. Yes, return to base. Shit, man. I'm disappointed. <laughs> um, okay, can we go to an area with carrots? Or can we only go to the one area right now? No, we can go just about anywhere. I think... Where was it? Was it... Deep Forest? Was this the one that had a bunch of carrots? Let's go here, try to grind some carrots so we can get some healing potions. Uh, maybe some onions for antidotes. Just some material in general would be nice, too. This is the first time we've had to actually grind at all, which is annoying. Especially because we're so close to the end of this encounter, man. Really? Frogs? See what I mean, though? These frogs can fucking jump. Like, <laughs> they're not stuck being slow as shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're still going to get our ass kicked, though. By some frogs, of all things. Alright. So also give us a chance to grow some stuff, maybe. Okay, so we want to make a couple antidote potions before we leave. A bunch of healing potions. And then we'll go back and try that shit again. What's this? A map? Dope. We we like that. And then just pick up everything. Whatever. Okay, shop. We don't care about a shop. We could go and see what that is now, because we kind of uh ignored it last time. So I guess that's that's what we'll do. Collect carrots, make health potions. And go see what that ring is. Maybe it'll be better than our POW ring. I doubt it, but maybe. Or our POW stone, I guess. It's not really a ring, is it? Do we plant something? I didn't check and see what level this encounter was. Should have, but we didn't. But look how much easier these things die than the ones in the fucking Titania Kingdom, man. <laughs> It's incredible, like, how quickly uh, the enemies scale up their, their strength. Ow, what? I didn't even see the frog, man. <laughs> Frog's fucking invisible. Alright, foes on release. Hopefully that'll be enough to grow the tree and we didn't waste the maple. We get even one out of it, I'd be happy enough, but obviously we'd prefer two. Just the one? Looks like just the one. So many onions. You have a complaint about your ears? What's going on with your ears, love? We should still have an antidote, right? We might as well use it. One of the reasons we came here was to get ingredients to make more, after all. Level zero somewhere. I know we have one. And an onion for an antidote potion. So we have one regen, one fire, two elixirs. We want to get some regular healing potions still. Um... I guess seeds can go up here with the edibles. So we're kind of overflowing with seeds. 
Uh, go ahead and eat. Get up to level 22. And then the muggle. There's level 22. Okay. And we want to go up this way. Do we have any onions, perchance? Probably shouldn't be jumping. Are onions? Carrots. Carrots, perchance. Carrots are what we want. No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. The wrap the head... They wrap the headband in sequins that's all over ears and bows, and it's really itchy on my head. Why didn't they use a blue ribbon? I don't know. Uh, Noodle is wearing a, a headband for 4th of July. A, like, what was it? A Minnie Mouse ear headband or something like that? That's what she's complaining about, in case anyone's curious. <laughs> um... I wonder if we could grow a grape. We'll grow a, we'll, we'll do a muggle. Grapes are better, but I don't, again, know the level of the encounter because, once again, I forgot to stop and see. Our pal stone putting in work, helping us recover power quickly. We're very close to leveling up our uh, Cypher level, which also does increase our attack damage, so there is reasons to uh, to do that outside of just getting more magic. Although, obviously, the more magic thing helps a lot. Mini Mouse ears, yeah. That's what I thought. We can probably grow... We'll, we'll try a Grape. If it doesn't work, we can throw in some of our own magic. Go. Stop healing, you bastards. A mulberry seed, really? I don't need a mulberry seed, man. Take the grape for experience. Level zero material, we definitely need that. Okay, eat whatever food we have. We're just trying to get more more health, so we might as well just eat everything constantly, all the time. I think we picked up a Rosimile, didn't we? Because with a Rosimile, we can make something a little bit nicer. Yeah, so we'll plant that and uh, a Naple if we have it. Muggle, 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 grape. Muggle, muggle, mulberry. Mulberry. Muggle, Mulberry, Muggle, Mulberry, Muggle. We have so many Muggles and Mulberries. Okay, Grape it is then. That was a Mulberry. Fuck me, dude. That's <laughs> not at all what I wanted to grow. Where's the Grape? There it is. So we'll wait for that shit to grow. Do we have anything else to eat in the meantime? Grape. We have a Grape. It's more health experience, more health. Then, didn't we pick up a level zero? We did. Let's make a regular healing potion with that. Which is a lot of times when we need health, we're not, you know, dead dead. So the elixirs are a little bit of overkill in those situations. So we might as well just make a regular health potion, honestly. Oh my god, our inventory is a mess. Alright, let's wait for the plants to grow. Actually, you know what? I just noticed... We're really close to another hour, so I think we're going to go ahead and go over to the break. But since all we're doing is grinding, we're going to keep playing. Not something we normally do, but we're literally just grinding right now to get more more stuff. So I don't see any point in, uh, like, you're not really going to miss anything. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and run the ad, guys. It's an excellent time to stand up, take a break, and do all that sort of stuff. Uh, and we'll be back. For anyone, of course, that's subscribed, you won't miss anything. So, <laughs> Click the button there, and let's keep going. Eat some grapes. Uh, we do need to release one set of Fozons to get that to grow, the mulberry that we didn't mean to grow. But it's already there, so no point in throwing it away. Now let's abuse the Fozon release mechanics to cheese some extra levels in our Cypher Gauge. Having more attack power is, I mean, it's just always a good thing. 
And if we can get the healing spell, that would be another nice bonus. It doesn't do much for us in the middle of battle, but it helps out a lot in between fights, right? Like if we if we finish a fight with hardly any health, we can just use the uh, the cipher heal or whatever the hell it's called instead of um, instead of using a health potion or an elixir or something. No, no, you're sitting down and taking a break. Well, I mean, you've been standing up running around all day. That's fine in that case. You're allowed to have your break. Okay, let's actually make use of the map. So the next one's a level two encounter. We're just gonna go up and to the left. Do we just eat the mall berries? We'll keep them for now because they are they are pretty decent to use to get. Uh, to get potion bases up quickly. We could make some napalm with all the onions that we got or are getting. That's a decent idea. And I believe they also do good at getting rid of like the oozes and shit. So we have another option instead of just our special attack. I, I would really like some carrots though. I'm starting to think it was the other one. I guess we'll eat one just so we can pick up the onion. And the other forest that gave us carrots, I'm starting to think. Yes, okay. We don't have any more inventory space for you. I'm sorry. I just want to get a little bit of stuff, right? I'm not even asking for a ton, because we can just avoid that one encounter. And, uh probably take down the boss okay but i want to get at least a couple a couple decent potions before we get back into there god damn it onions onions everywhere uh we should probably grow something it's only a level two encounter that's important to remember but that should still be good enough to grow like a grape damn half the shit we have are mulberry seeds which are just useless well i mean besides the the potion crafting i guess they do, they do pretty decent there, like I mentioned. Oh, hey, some, uh, whatchamacallit, some, some bees. I don't think we fought bees when we were here just moments ago. Or moments ago? I guess it was a couple hours ago now, technically. Ow. Bruh. You are outputting more damage than I expected. I don't want to heal, like, using my health potion, I mean, because we've yet to find carrots. Uh, that might be a material. Open that. Um, I said that might be a material. Open that. <laughs> it is. Thank fuck. Okay. That's something we can do with all of these seeds that we have in our inventory. Counter over. Excellent. Where was that material at? Did we walk past it? We must have walked past it. It's another onion. God damn, dude. I mean, okay, so we do need a couple antidotes. That that was another goal of coming here. So it's not that bad. Cold cheese soup. Excellent. Yogurt, cheese, and milk. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just yogurt and cheese don't sound like a good mix to me. Uh, so we need to drop something for a minute. Just for a moment. Drop that. Just pick up the material. What do we want to make? Let's make some napalm or no okay first let's just clear up some inventory space and then maybe some uh, some napalm some what else do we have uh ingredient wise we have habaneros turnips onions that unlimited power one would be nice but it doesn't, it, that's really good for the boss, but it doesn't help us really with the encounters in between. We really just want stuff that's gonna stop us from taking damage. So ice spirits, fire spirits, whatever. I, I think those are the main ones that we want right now. So we need to be what, level either six or eight. Either way, just keep mixing this with the shit we don't care about, like mulberry seeds. Oh, speaking of, I'm a dumbass. We kept a mulberry just to mix with a material. Where is it? There it is. Just take you, and now I think it's you, and... What is V? Oh, that's a regen potion. Regen potions are nice, too. Um, it must have been level 6. Did we just make another regen, then? It takes up a whole inventory slot for only one thing. Yeah, fuck it, though. Regen's nice. We'll make that. 
do a quick lap around to see if maybe we can get a carrot. No luck. Oh, there is another material on the ground. Hell yeah. Okay. Good. We must have we must have walked past it. Um Didn't I just pick up a fruit? It was a muggle. 120 experience. No, I don't think I don't think we can get rid of that one. We can use the roast simile. We have a bunch of cores and shit. Let's just use those. I was gonna say we could use the roast simile to grow some mall berries and then use that for the potion crafting, but we have so much shit that we're never actually gonna use. Let's just be honest. So let's just get the shit out. You don't like how she picks up items? I never really noticed how she picks up items, to be honest, but that's fair. With the, the like, the, the kneeling down, like she's teabagging someone. <laughs> I don't like the inventory system for this game. It's the one thing that, honestly, I just do not like in the game, man. It is not great. That makes D? What is D? Drain. We don't care about drain. Uh, that makes the metamorphosis one, which doesn't come up very often, but when it does would be really nice to have, honestly. But no, we're, we're gonna make the fire spirits or whatever. But that's something to think of. Like, before we leave, we might want to do that. Another mulberry seed. Okay. So it must be level 6, and then... Uh, a turnip or a habanero. We have a bunch of habaneros, so we'll do that. Okay, now food. Let's eat some food to get a tiny bit of health, because we do have a boss encounter. It's a lower level boss encounter, so I don't think we're going to struggle too much. But uh, I've definitely said that before and then fucking died. Do we grow another muggle? I think we do. And just to help things speed up a little bit, foes on release. Okay, so we have two regen potions. We have an antidote. We have one ice, one fire spirit, um, one health potion. I want, before we leave, I want to get at least one more health potion. And if we can... I want to get a metamorphosis potion, and then I think we're good to go back to that to that level. She's very bouncy. Yeah, I guess she is. They they definitely jiggle jiggle. <laughs> I'm not surprised. The whole game has an anime art style, and let's be real, what anime doesn't have some uh, ridiculous jizzle, jiggle physics? <laughs> Keep cheesing levels out of the uh, the pose on release. more damage better and I'm still fingers crossed for that stupid fucking foes on heal or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> like every time she moves now that you mentioned, even when she's just standing still like using this here, like <laughs> just jiggling everywhere. <laughs> oh god. I did not mean to use Cyclone. You do really like the art style? Me too. That was the thing. So, Rue is the one that suggested that I play the game. Um, but the art style is legit what made me want to play it after after they brought it up. Because um, the art style is. It's just... It, it's really good. It's a very pretty game. I just wish it didn't have the, the lag and the inventory system that it has. <laughs> Those are the only two major complaints. Uh, okay, yeah. Go, go see whatever this boss encounter is. If we can do it without using any of our potions, that would be great. Especially because we still haven't found any fucking carrots. <laughs> the whole reason why we came to this land specifically. Oh, it's you. You're annoying. Oh, God, we're going to die. <laughs> probably why we like the game so much. Yeah, probably. Did we make any antidotes? We did. Okay. I mean, we have onions out the ass, so I'm not going to be stingy on the, on the antidotes. Um, I hope we don't have to, but we might have to stop at the other forest to get some, some carrots still. Uh, 
I was hoping to just like come here and that would be the end of it, but. Okay, run away so we can get our pal back. Excellent, and return. I just hate like fighting the groups of enemies, man. That's something that I've never been very good at in video games in general is uh, is like bullet hell style stuff, you know, with just shit everywhere. I've never been particularly good at dealing with that sort of thing. And in this game too, I feel like a lot of times that is harder to deal with than, than boss encounters are, which is just insane to me. Like boss encounter, fucking easy, dude. Get 30 little guys all in a group together and die a uh, terrible death. Oh, chest, can we get to the chest? They like to drop. Well, in this case, you used to seed, but I was going to say they like to drop um, uh, material, which would have been very nice. We got a bee, though, so maybe... No, just more fucking seeds. Kind of useless without any material to use them with. We'll take our muggle and eat it. That might get us up to level 23. Mm, probably not. It's going to be close, but no. Yeah, no. No dice. Um, okay, this is a level 5 encounter coming up. It's an older level 5 encounter, so hopefully it won't be too hard. Uh, do the, the quick run around to see if we get any carrots, though. Carrots can spawn in the forest. They might be rare, but they can spawn here. We're just getting very unlucky. Yeah, very unlucky. Holy hell. Nothing at all. Not even an onion. Which we do need to make one more set of antidote before we go, because we were getting poisoned like crazy. Um, might as well plant. Didn't we pick up a maple while we were in that other level? Yeah, a couple of them, actually. Another onion. Damn, dude. Uh... I've been trying to save our, our Cypher stuff to get some, you know, um, cheese, basically. <laughs> Not literal cheese, because that's a thing you can't get in the game, but to cheese some fucking levels out of it. But when there's this many fucking things, like, look at that. Look how many fucking things there are <laughs> over there. Like, that's just ridiculous, man. There is no reason for that. Level 5 encounter or not, that is just terrible. Alright, we're poisoned. Take another antidote. We're gonna end up using all of the antidote before we even get to make any. Oh my god, they're still spawning. Um, okay. Suck up some Cypher. Or Fozons. And then... Kill the... Don't die to the frog. Kill the fucking frogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Cyclone. That's what I was trying to do. Cyclone again. And then that's about to make a bunch of fucking shit. Fozons fly. So, Naple. Soak them up, man. Excellent. Please give us a material so we can make some antidote or something. And it would also be nice if whatever the hell that is, the ring ends up being nice. Oh, the vampiric ring. That might actually be worth taking at like wearing. I mean, oh man, I don't know. That's a tough one because the extra the the pow that we get from the the pow thing that we're using stone or whatever the hell you want to call it is obviously very handy um but the vampiric ring heals us every time we deal damage right which may actually be better fuck that's a hard choice there man okay we did pick up a thing so let's use that and just get rid of some of these seeds we have so many um Okay, seed seed. Oh, 
And with all these Naples, can't we make like Naples Sorbet or some shit too? Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I guess, okay, we'll keep the Power Stone just in case we end up needing it. So Napalm would be nice. You, you, yes. Go ahead and make the you. And I think what we're going to do now is collect all the shit that we can take with us. We're going to go back home. Return to base. We're going to see what we can make. And then collect some, some healing shit. From the, from the other forest. And then we're going to go fuck these people's lives up. <laughs> that's the, that's the plan. I'm finishing her story, damn it. I had hoped to like start the epilogue today. Um, like maybe get one chapter into it or something. But no, Rue, if you can hear me, are there six chapters in the epilogue? Just like there are in the normal, um, characters playthroughs or whatever. Or is there only like a uh, one, one, one chapter in that one? Because it would kind of suck if there's, like, one, but... You can beat this one? Uh, no, but they are really tough battles. Oh! Thank you so much for the for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate that, love. Um, your break's over? I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so... No, that requires rotten fruit for some reason. We need milk. I wonder if they're gonna sell milk. Need the restaurant, yes. Oh shit, we probably don't have any inventory space for milk, do we? Um, okay, I'm just hoping, you know, next week that we don't beat the game like one hour into <laughs> into starting it up, that's all. What's our inventory space look like? Uh, non-existent. We have this level zero, and we need more antidote, so we'll just make that now. Level zero, onion, antidote, please, and thank you. Bye, I love ya. I hope uh, the rest of your day goes quickly. Oh, uh, if you can still hear, do you need a ride tonight? I'll text you if you can't hear and ask you in a moment, but. Fish filet shrimp material napalm, you do not. Son of a bitch. You never sell anything handy at all, you know that? <laughs> I needed eggs, you don't sell eggs. I need milk, you don't sell milk. Useless, I'm telling ya, useless. All right, in that case then, we're just going to uh, eat some Naples for the experience. We'll save the rest as uh, potential heals for the forest that we're getting ready to go to. This one. Hopefully this one. I'm pretty sure one of the... Your MOD, okay. I'm pretty sure one of the uh, forests spawned carrots regularly. I know one of them spawned it rarely. I, I think the one we were just at. But the other one I'm pretty sure has it as a common spawn. Should have maybe bought a material or two before we left the, the Puka Village. But, oh well, it's fine. I don't think carrots usually grow in trees. <laughs> oh, this is like the first area for her story, or one of the first areas, ain't it? These guys are going to die so easy. <laughs> Nothing. No spawns at all. Uh, level zero materials the main thing I want, and that's probably the map. We'll take that too, gladly. And then just pick up whatever we can, if anything. Okay. Um, you know what? With as much shit as we have, we need we need the level zero for for the what call it for the the healing potion. But with as many things as we have, we can probably get up to level ten easily enough. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dump some stuff in it. Yeah, like we're getting all these seeds. There's more seeds back here, like We're getting a shit ton of stuff. Let's might as well put it to use instead of just leaving it on the ground. And I mean, there's no reason not to make an elixir instead of a 
instead of a healing potion, right? Because the only reason to make the healing potion instead of the elixir is it takes a lower level base. But if we were just going to leave stuff on the ground instead of taking it with us, we might as well just dump that in there and make the elixir. You get three uses out of either one. It's just one heals more than the other. Fuck, that's an onion. Do carrots not spawn here? <laughs> That's also an onion. Do carrots just not spawn at the end of the game? Because every single character I feel like that we've played, once we get to the end of the game, we just cannot get carrots to save our life. Like, literally, you know? Oh, hi. There's actually a bunch of you guys. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can plant something. A muggle. Do we have a naple? That's what I would like to grow. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, Muggle it is. God, they die so easy. Level zero material? Nope. A mulberry seed and a single coin. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, game. At least we're getting a shit ton of Cypher. There's that, at least. There we go, level zero material. All right, I'm going to check real quick before we waste too much time. Uh, Odin Sphere, where do carrots spawn? Where can I find ingredients? Odin Sphere. Very common in Raging Battlefield Ringford Forest and shows up in Elfid. I think we're in Ringford. If we pause, does it tell us there? No, what about this menu? Uh, no. It doesn't seem to tell us anywhere. I could have swore it told us in one of the menus where we were. Huh. Maybe not. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we're in Ringford. Um, let's just go up. What did we pick up? Did we pick up a level zero material or anything? We did. We did. We did. We definitely did. Um... Unlimited power, that'll be nice. We have a little bit of healing potion, antidote. I don't really care how the inventory sorted at this point, besides the fact that I want all of the potions, like, together. Sort. There we go. That'll make things a little bit easier to find, I guess. Uh, okay, so we have a couple uses of healing. We have two elixirs. We have at least one antidote. We want to make... I'm going to go ahead and make another antidote now. While we have that level zero floating around. Somewhere in here. Very nice. We have a shit ton of seeds, I'm fairly certain. Might as well plant it. With the level we're currently at, stuff like muggles don't give us much... Uh, chance of leveling up our health, but, you know, some chance is better than none. Every little bit helps, after all. Another level zero material. Definitely take that. Um, where's that, that one that we were dumping shit into? Six. I don't really care what gets dumped into it at this point. Just dump stuff into it, please. I just want one more healing potion, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here. Uh, we can make egg and toast with that. Oh, no, we need a hot cross bun. Carrot, please. There's two squeaks. Carrot, thank fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You are like the hardest thing in the world to find. Do you know that? Level 8 and a carrot can make an elixir. And then there was another squeak around here somewhere. Are you also a carrot? You're an onion. Trash. Alright. I think we're done. With the grinding stuff, at least. Put all of our potions together. This 
shit, I guess. All right, we have two antidotes, a couple elixirs, healing potion. Oh, we have another level zero. Um, since we have another level zero, I'm going to try and get one more healing potion before we go. Yeah, I lied. We're not done. One more healing potion, then we're gone. Uh, the boss should be relatively easy to kill, actually. We'll just go to that. Carrot, please. Uh, Cubsbane. Can't Cubsbane also be used to make something handy? Painkiller. Uh, Painkiller would actually be really nice. How much do we heal every time we deal damage? We heal one, so... <laughs> okay, maybe the Vampiric Ring isn't worth it then. I don't know, man. Holy fuck. I will take all that. Wait, is something still alive? No, okay, it just took forever to end the timer. The lag is ridiculous. Anything handy in this chest? Put your votes in now. My guess is no. Oh, we actually got a scroll. Creme de la creme. I don't know. Creme de Anjo? Oh, God. Uh, there it is. Fluffy dessert made with light cream. Egg, muggle, and cheese. <laughs> Fancy. Uh, carrot? Nope, that's an onion. You know, for common... For carrots supposed to be a common spawn here, they sure as hell don't want to spawn, do they? Thank fuck. Thank you. Take that. Uh, my bag is full. Bullshit. Uh, I guess just drop an onion. Doesn't really matter. Just something. Get a carrot. Pick that up, that up. One more inventory sort, and then we're actually getting back to the trying to progress through the game bit. Okay. We have a bunch of potions and shit. We should, fingers crossed, finally be able to beat this fucking level, man. I don't think you sell hot cross buns. So far, you haven't sold anything useful. Yeah, no. <laughs> Nothing fucking useful at all. Trash. Uh, since we have so much shit in our inventory, I guess we might as well just sell some stuff. Then we can buy some, I don't know, some napalm. <laughs> Is there like a, just a fried egg on its own recipe? I hate to waste more time, but I think we're gonna check that. Yeah. And then buy. Mm, oh, we could buy a large bag. Let's do that actually. More inventory space is always better, right? We'll buy that. There we go. And can we make just a fried egg? Can it, Like, chef, please. I'm just... <laughs> that's all I want. I just want you to take my egg and fry it. It should be super simple for you to do. It's just like making eggs on toast. Just, you know, no toast. That's all I need from you, man. I believe in you. You can handle it. Mm -hmm. You as well? Oh, cool. We got new recipes. Yeah, I don't care. Just let me... Just, let me give you my shit, dude. I want to get out of here. Yes, yeah, so we need a, a bun for that. We don't have stuff for salads. That's fine. Mm, can't make any of that. Seriously, there is no just like fried egg recipe. 
There it is. Okay, omelet. And it seems like that is the best thing we can make right now. Alright, whatever. I don't care. We'll take it. That's more experience, so... And usually a permanent uh, health upgrade as well. On top of the experience. Yeah, only like two, but still, you know. Every little bit helps, question mark. <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck, we still have the epilogue with her after this. Fuck, dude, I was really hoping to get through her story today. God damn. Well, I guess that means next time, you know, there's... <laughs> There's more content to be had for next week. All right, we got it. I believe in us. Near the Puka Village. Yeah, whatever. We watched this already. Skip all. On to Titania. The worst fucking level in the game. <laughs> Necropolis or Nebuopolis or whatever the hell it's called in this game sucks because of the lag. But Titania is the worst, man, <laughs> because of the enemies that you fight here. And it definitely has some lag problems of its own. So, fuck Titania. We definitely don't want to follow the path to the left. <laughs> we learned that the hard way. Um, this dead end city. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot that the habaneros can sometimes <laughs> spit fire at you. Fucking bastards. <laughs> oh, you know what we should have done, too? We'll do it after, uh... We'll do it after, after this fight. Um, we should have got rid of all of our stuff that we have. Our, our bosons or whatever the hell. And just absorb them for the levels. Are you a teleporter? No. Okay. Uh, material? Yes, material. Thank you, game. on release. That repeatedly. I have no idea with her what level she gets the, the, the healing ability, or if she even does at all. I'm assuming all of the characters have the ability to get all of the uh, magic spells. Just they get it at different levels, I'm assuming, but I could be completely wrong on that. Two more materials. Um, thank you, game. I don't know why you're being so kind all of a sudden. It's kind of scary, honestly. Okay, we're going to do this, and then we're going to eat whatever food we have for heals. And also... Oh, shit, I think I just saw... I think we do have a new ability. Cypher heal! Look at that, dude. That's actually really good. Um, but since we have all this food, we're going to use it for now. Because we need uh, to try and get levels anyways. So we'll, we'll eat these things until we either get fully healed or level up. Looks like we're going to get fully healed first. That's fine. On to the next level. No map. I don't know what all spawns here. Turn up. Uh, if we have the inventory space, might as well take it. Same with the habanero. Okay. Anything worth planting? We have muggles, which suck ass, but whatever. That's all we really have, so plant it up. We should also be doing more damage now, though, since we leveled up our, our Cypher level a little bit. So things should die a little bit quicker, hopefully. We, the only thing that we really got to be careful of is the fact that we don't have the the POW ring at the moment. So we don't, we don't regenerate POW as quickly. So we need to be careful that we don't use it all up and we, like fuck ourselves.
A uh, bunch more gold, which, whatever. What was that? Oh, just a gold coin. Okay, so what do we want to make? Let's see what ingredients we have. Because we have a lot of stuff now. We have onions. A lot of onions. So with onions, we can make... Um, napalm, which is nice. But I think Cubsbane lets us make either healing potion or something. Elixir, fire spirit, gold, healing tonic, ice spirit. That's habanero, which, I mean, would be nice. Lucky mix, don't care. We should make a metamorphosis. That's probably the best thing to make right now. Painkiller with Cubsbane. Yes, okay. So we have a bunch of a bunch of materials. So let's make painkiller and what was the other one? I already forgot. Good job. Uh, painkiller and <laughs> metamorphosis. That's that's the other one that we definitely need to make, um, just in case, you know. Again, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, holy fuck. So, what level do we need to be for metamorphosis? I have a terrible memory. Four. That shouldn't be a problem. Simile. Do we have any more seeds? We do. It's just in the next tab. Uh, this tab. And then was it a habanero? Or turnip? That's K, M. There we go. We'll gladly take that. Uh, and now we want to get to level 2. But I don't think we have any material to get to level 2. Put you with the potions. Uh, put all this stuff together, I guess. Uh, God. Inventory is rough. Yeah, we don't have any material um, to get to level two, but that's I think going to be the next thing that we that we try and get is the uh, a spirit or something or painkiller, painkiller. That's what we wanted since we have that cubs bane. Okay, so I don't remember <laughs> I I don't remember the order of the encounters or anything. Uh, might as well plant the muggle. They don't take much to grow. Even if this is a, like a level one, I'm sure we'll get enough for the for that to to work out. Uh, okay, get rid of the eyeballs first. Oh god, we got grabbed already, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> that was so quick. All right. Um, you're a teleporting one. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? I guess just healing potion. Right? Yeah, just regular healing potion should be fine. It's what we made them for. If I could fucking find it. God damn it. <laughs> there goes that healing potion already, huh? Glad we made that. Alright, get rid of some of these wizards. The ones that don't respawn. Oh my god, man. Holy fuck. Fuck, dude. There's just too much shit on the screen. Okay, can we get rid of some of them eyeballs, maybe? You hate it when Twitch dies on me? Honestly, same. I hate when Twitch dies on you. Or me. Or anyone. Just sucks. Anytime you're trying to watch some content and then things just don't want to work. Like, that's annoying as balls, dude. No, ignore the fucking swords. I don't care about the swords. Hit the fucking wizard. That was like right outside my window. Somebody's setting off fireworks. Which is fine. I'm pro fireworks. I was really hoping our vampiric ring would help us. We, uh... Regain more health than it is. It's honestly not doing much for, for us, the vampiric ring. It makes me wonder if we should just switch back to the PAL one. I mean, I'm sure it's helping some, but 
one health per hit is just not that much. It's not even per hit, is it? No, it's, <laughs> it's like somewhat random. Are you still alive? Holy fuck, dude. Okay, you're dead. So now all we have left is Slimy Boy, which hopefully will now be dead. Okay. Something else must still be alive. What and where? Oh, highball. Just die, please. Thank you. We got a rotten... Oh, okay. There was another, another set of spawns. They weren't done. Is it random what level the spawns are or something? I don't remember having an encounter this hard this early on. Uh, eat the rotten muggle. That'll give us a little bit of health and shit. And then we still have fruit, don't we? Just like regular fruit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat some of that for health. I don't want to waste all of our potions and shit that we took all that time making already. Okay, no, stay away from them. Ow, dude, just fucking go away. Put the fire out, put the fire out. Eyeball, you can die. Oh, hi, Turnip. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, Mr. Turnip, sir. Let the power regen. I guess, honestly, like, the, the power regen from the other stone thing was nice. Like, it definitely helped regen faster. But I guess it wasn't that much faster, you know? Like, actually looking at it now. Are we on? We're poisoned. That's all right. That's all right. We'll go ahead and use... We're kind of close to leveling up. Antidote first. And then... Eat some fruit. Because we're, we're pretty close to leveling up, man. Yeah, one more. One more navel. Quickly. Before we die. Oh, shit. That wasn't enough. One more. Last bite. That should get us there. Full fucking heal. Let's go. Alright. Get rid of the fucking eyeballs. Eyeballs disgust me. <laughs> they are kind of gross, man. If you think about it. I don't know. They're just like squishy things that absorb light. And cause you to hallucinate. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's they're weird, okay? Uh, die? Yes. Okay, there's still something else alive. It's an ooze. Our our rank on this one's gonna be trash, but whatever. I probably should have checked that chest. Too late now. Go in our inventory. Is there anything we wanna anything we wanna do? Well, we definitely wanna dump since we have multiple level zero materials. We definitely wanna dump our useless shit into it. Level two. Wasn't there something we can make at level two? Don't remember. If we're not going to end up using the power ring, what will that take us to? Five? Yeah, fucking. Dump that in there. And then level five with a single onion, since we have so fucking many. And then level six with... Oh, that's what we were going to do, was make a... Uh, a level six with a Cubs Bay makes an antidote? That sounds terrible. No, we were going to make a, uh, a painkiller. I keep forgetting that, but we definitely want it. A single piece of gold. Cool. <laughs> okay. Dump our Fozons. So we can get more damage output.
will stop whenever we get down to like four or something. I don't really know. It's nice to have the ability to use some magic, but we don't need seven levels of it most of the time. Uh, we'll do it one more time. Seven to four is a lot. I guess it's probably like the, like getting to level one probably takes, you know, one quarter of what it takes to get from three to four or something like that. Like I'm guessing every, every level probably progressively gets harder to fill up the bar. Okay, put fire spirits somewhere. I don't really care where. Just get it mixed in with all of our shit. And then we want to go down this time because up was not a good time for us, honestly. It was a, what I would call a bad time. <laughs> okay, boss, but not a dead end. That's okay. What boss are we going to be fighting? Is it going to be an annoying-ass wizard, or... Is it going to be one of the, the dwarf dudes? Yeah. Which, these guys still suck because that. They output a shit ton of damage, man, honestly. Like, it's, it's kind of insane how much damage they can actually do in one swing. Holy fuck, see? <laughs> It's not one hit kill though, so I will take it. Uh, an elixir, I guess. Cause we need, yeah, it would take two health potion goes or just one drink of an elixir. So we're gonna, sorry, I had to adjust myself, get comfortable, elixir. Um. Trying to think if it would be worth using a fire spirit or anything here to prevent some damage, because fire spirits right now are like a renewable thing, right? Because or ice spirits, fire spirits, whatever. Whereas the health potions aren't currently renewable. So I think honestly what we'll do is use that to prevent some damage and then just try and go all out on the dude for a minute. We just want to kill the boss quick, and then we can take our time dealing with everyone else. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. Let it regen, and hopefully this hits the fucking slime it did. Thank Christ. And now it's your turn, bitch. Did that even hit the wizard? Damn it! <laughs> You're supposed to hit the wizard. <laughs> Don't get poisoned, please. Oh, you're not even a teleporting one. I didn't have to use the the chain whip range attack thing. Ooh, a level 10 material. Okay. We wanted to make painkiller. And for painkiller, we need a level something mixed with a something. <laughs> Alchemy, P, Cubsbane. Level 2 mixed with Cubsbane. Okay. That's easy. We have a bunch of level 0s. Uh, mixed with the Mulberry Seed. Those are useless to us right now. Is that Mulberry Seed? It is. This will come in very, very handy whenever we have to fight the boss. The actual, like, level boss. Painkiller. And we might as well do a Cypher heal. Let that happen. This is legit, I think, the hardest world in the game. Because of the wizards and the eyeballs and all that shit. I seem to have struggled with this one with, with like most of the characters. Um, whereas the other one's just like generally speaking or weren't that hard you know we certainly died a couple times but not not nearly as much as we did here yeah, try to keep our inventory somewhat sorted yes okay, so we have two antidotes three elixirs 
one painkiller, two fire spirits, one health. So we're actually, I feel like we're still in a pretty decent spot. Do I have two painkillers with different... There's a painkiller there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I was misreading something. Anyways, okay. On to the next... What do we got? Turn up? Nah, just a turn up. Whatever. We got space. Might as well take it. I would love if this was the boss. It's probably not, but I would love if it was the final boss. Definitely not. That's all right. I just want to get out of Titania, man. I'm really hoping that we fight... A Holy shit balls. Um... I am so glad I figured out that you can use this special attack to help kill the slimy boys, because otherwise this level would be really bad right now. Uh, I want the chest, actually. There we go. Yeah, that went from being like an extremely hard encounter to not all that bad because of the, the special ability actually being useful. Are you a teleporty dude? You are. Okay. Which again, the special ability can make pretty quick work of you, assuming that I can actually hit you. Just one encounter? One encounter. Too fucking easy, dude. <laughs> this is the only time where we can use magic and have time continue moving, so <laughs> let's... Let's try and abuse that a little bit. Close on, release the shit out of everything. Getting more damage better. Plus maybe, I don't know, maybe there's like a high level spell that we've never unlocked or something. That'd be really cool to have. There is one that I remember Gwendolyn, the first character we played, had that I don't think we've gotten since. That uh, just increases your damage output. Maybe, maybe someone else got it. Is that the map? Oh, dude, that's actually huge. Oh, and the boss is right fucking there. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, so we went the complete wrong way. I don't know what that ring is. I kind of want to know, but I'm not dealing with that shit again. Okay, so the boss was right here. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, definitely going to save first in case, again, we get into a situation where we're, like, completely fucked. Um, but I'm honestly thinking this boss will probably be easier than that level 5 encounter for that ring that we accidentally stumbled into last time. Anything we need to prepare? I don't think so. Can we make anything worthwhile? We have a habanero, an onion. I mean, we have so many ice spirits, fire spirits, everything right now. Yeah, no, I think we're I think we're just gonna go into it. And then we're going to drink fucking everything, just in case it ends up being a hard fight. And then use an unlimited power thing, and then just try and wail on the boss as much as possible. That's the the fucking plan, man. As long as it's not a teleporty boy, which, oh fuck, I hope it's not. Never trust the old guys, especially the wise men. あの<笑> Fuck, dude, please tell me we're not fighting the wizard again. Valentine, 
どうぞ欲しいったゴブレンをお許しください何故このような真似をコルネリウス様が呪われた姿でタイタニアに戻られたと聞きました一目で構いませんコルネリウス様に会わせてくださいませタイタニアを騒がせた罪は罪だが王も鬼ではない王子のことは我らも驚きを隠せる真琴の恋とやらは穏やかに身を結ばぬというではないか王もお前のささやかな望みを叶えるにやむさかではありますまい Don't fucking trust him, Velvet. <laughs> Don't go with him, dude. Oh my god. She's an idiot. She's just gonna go with him. Oh, fuck, dude. Stupid, stupid girl. <laughs> Beldor and Belial. Okay. Fuck. Belial is a dragon, right? Is Beldor one of the wise men or. I just don't want to fight the wise men. They teleport around. They're annoying as shit. Yep, and yep. Fuck. <laughs> Dude, why? Oh my god. Okay. Um. That. That is like right outside my window. I don't know if it's coming over the mic because I have RTX voice, but holy fuck. <laughs> Somebody's setting off the good fireworks tonight, dude. Um, all right, shit. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What are we gonna do? Fire spirits. Yes. Get that. Stop any damage. I guess we'll try and take down the dragon first. I guess. Uh, unlimited pal would still come in handy in this situation. So would regen. Quickly now, quickly. Unlimited pal before we get hit with something. Okay. Now just fuck his shit up, dude. <laughs> okay, yeah, he definitely has more damage than the other one does. Um, or, or more health, I mean, not more, more damage. We might as well take more of the fire stuff. I mean, we literally made all that shit just for these fights. So take the fire spirits. We're on fire, which sucks. Hopefully our fucking um, between vampiric ring and the other one. Hopefully we'll be okay with that. Holy shit, dude. The wizard's putting out so much fucking shit. Like, okay. Um, oh, fuck, we're dead. <laughs> I did not realize how much damage we were taking. Uh, okay, that's okay though. We might have to change gears and actually deal with the wizard first. Um, which in which case, I, I guess the unlimited power still comes in handy because we'll be able to use more of our our special ability, the one that actually damages the wizard. Um, fuck, dude. I really hope we wouldn't have to fight him again. I hate Titania. I hate Titania so much. All right. Again, though, same as last time. We're doing. We're gonna do the same. The same fucking strategy, just uh, attacking the wizard instead of the dragon. Limited power. Regen. Where's fucking regen at? Is it in the? Must be in the next one. There it is. Oh, you fucking ate me, dude! What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to do anything yet, you bastard. All right, it's fine. Regen, regen will help deal with with that a fair bit. It's probably gonna go after the fucking blades though, which is what's annoying. Okay, that I think technically hurt him. Holy fuck, dude. Ow. Fuck, okay. This is gonna actually be pretty difficult. Fighting the two together like this. Uh, foes on burst. Oh, fuck. Okay, uh, when we get out, heal. Heal and, and painkiller. 
first though fire spirits because we are surrounded by shit and I do not want to take all that damage so a moment of invulnerability and then healing tonic because we still have regen on so that'll that'll heal us up some and I guess painkiller I am glad we made all these potions they are gonna help a ton <laughs> Okay, I, I still don't know what the best move is here. I feel like killing the dragon first is the best move, but, like, the the wizard spawns so many, like, flames and shit. I just want to, I just want to fucking output as much damage as humanly possible while I have unlimited power. That's, that's all I want to do. God, we're poisoned. Oh god, we're gonna be eaten. Fucking run! Run a fucking way! Dude, what? <laughs> we were literally running away! It's fine. Everything's fine. More invulnerability, please. Where? Fire, 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 or ice. I don't actually care which one, just give me one. Uh, ice. You're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate the kind words, love. We're definitely not going to die. Uh, foes on burst. Do some fucking damage, please. Just something. Something fucking happened. He ate us again. Okay. Um, run away. Antidote? We made an antidote. I know we did. Heal first. Just trying to be supportive? You are. You're very supportive. Thank you, love. Um, da -da -da. Healing tonic. And antidote. We definitely made some antidotes. I'm positive of it. There it is. I want you to fucking die, wizard. <laughs> That's all I want in life. Is for you to fucking die. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have to take all this shit head on. Oh my god. Fuck! Okay, well at least we didn't get swallowed. Oh fuck, we're dizzy though. I didn't realize that. Okay, uh, elixir time. I think all of our stuff has worn off. So it's probably time to drink another regen potion and everything, too. Swing away. Please and thank you. Okay, regen potion, yes. Oh, fuck, dude. Again? With the fucking sucking shit in? Oh, my God. I can't even fucking jump, dude. I'm going to die to this shit. Oh my god, the ball. It's just so much stuff. Ice spirit. Why is her story so hard? <laughs> um, Another unlimited power, I guess. Even though we haven't even had the chance to attack anything in quite a while. Of note though, the dragon is actually pretty damaged. So like, that's nice. Okay, and then potion no oh, fuck dude he ate us again I didn't realize he was gonna eat us there honestly okay we still we still need the potion but let's get fire spirits first because there's fire coming for us lag for the win yeah right so much fucking lag. And then healing potion. Can I please get on the other side of him? Like, just let me get fucking away from this bastard. Just a little bit, please. Game. 
Oh my god, we're dizzy. And the wizard's right fucking there. Oh, good. Oh, fuck. I thought we actually got on the other side of him there for a moment. Oh, god. Okay, uh, fire spirits. There's a lot of shit going on around us. So much fucking lag. Like, did they not play the game before they released it? Like, holy fuck, dude. How did they not notice how much lag there was in these levels? Okay, the dragon's almost dead. He's almost fucking dead. And then the wizard shouldn't be too fucking bad knowing what we know about using that special ability to, to do some damage to them, assuming that he works like the other wizards. Spit us out already, you bastard! Holy fuck, dude. Okay, I think the painkiller's still working, I think. Take the last of our fire spirits. Come on, just... Come on, he's so fucking close. Get fucked, please. Yes, 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 yes. I think he's dead. Again, hopefully that'll help with lag too. Hopefully. Like, holy shit. And since he's dead, ho I'm hoping that uh, all this shit will stop spawning all over the place too. Okay, so the unlimited pow has definitely worn off. Uh, so has our... Painkiller, it looks like. Painkiller, painkiller, painkiller. Did we use all of our painkiller? No, we still have one use left. Oh my god, stop with the special fucking... Did he take any damage from that? I don't know if he actually did or not. I don't think he is. I think the only way to hurt him is with the fucking swords, dude. This is fucking stupid. I hate him so much. He is by far the worst fucking boss, man. Why aren't they hitting him? Just fuck, dude. Get dead already. Shit! And then he teleports the fuck away like a bastard. Spawn in. No, not that shit. Spawn in some fucking swords, dude. And not swords in the middle of the battlefield. Swords next to you so I can actually fucking hit you with them. Swords, please. Those aren't swords. Oh, good. You spawned in the swords on the wrong fucking side. I think my controller's fucking up. I definitely wasn't pressing the up button there. Oh, good. It's annoying shit. Swords? Maybe? Spawn them in. Go ahead. Swords? Those aren't swords either. Come on. Ah, fuck, dude. He's, like, tanky as hell, too. I feel like... I feel like every character, the, the bosses and shit, get tankier. Ah, fuck. Well, thank God we made Antidote. Okay, Antidote. I mean, we're, we're okay, at least. We fought in this boss enough times at this point. We know how to deal with him. He's just really fucking annoying. Like... Um, do we use all of our regular health potion? Shit, I guess we did. We used a lot of fucking, <laughs> a lot of fucking stuff there. That's fine, though. Um, I don't think he has, like, an attack that does a shit ton of damage suddenly out of nowhere. But just in case he does, we'll drink the elixir. Just run away. Wait for him to spawn swords in front of him and not half a map away from him. Nope. Okay, nope. 
There's a little bit of damage. I hate, like, forced waits in video games, man. Like, I don't care what game it is. I just hate being forced to wait to do anything. Holy shit. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, elixir? Thank you. And antidote. <laughs> that was way too close for comfort. Fire spirits. I don't really care. The fire spirits are shit. Please, just spawn swords, man. What is... What was... Oh, fuck, dude. Frog, really? I'm so glad we made Metamorphosis. You are, like, so close. I know, but it's still, like, three more hits with a sword before we can kill him. Because he's so fucking tanky, man. And he fucking dodged that sword. Because, of course, he fucking did. Okay, we need a heal. We're gonna run out of fucking elixir. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Put out the fucking fire, please. Fuck, dude, poison. <sighs> I'm so annoyed with this boss. Oh, shit, it's time for an ad too. We are like late tonight really late tonight that's fine put a put a short snooze on it <laughs> we're finishing this damn boss damn it spawn in a sword please swords in front of you that's not dude i can't even dodge that one that one's so shit swords man fucking swords gonna end up dropping it and then we're gonna die okay at least we got the heal first seriously he ran away why i thought i hit him with the fucking sword <laughs> uh, and this doesn't do shit to him we found out it just makes him teleport the only way to damage him is to hit him with the fucking swords oh my god I need to adjust myself. Come on, swords. That's all. I'm just going to keep saying fucking swords until you do it. Not in the middle of the battlefield, dude. Next to you, where I can actually hit them into you. This boss is the worst boss of any video game ever. God, <laughs> I hate it so much. Because as, we, as we're seeing, like, it's not even that he's that difficult is the annoying thing. It's just fucking annoying. Because you have to wait forever to do anything. And then half time when you hit a sword in his direction, he fucking dodges it anyways. Can we make anything? What do we have? We have level 10. Anything that heals or gives us invulnerability. Blizzard, cooler drain, fire spirits. We need a turnip or a habanero. Turnip or habanero. Regen, level eight and a turnip. What do we have? We do have turnips. Can we make a level eight? Five, six, seven, yes, we can. Let's get some regen going since we're spending most of our time just running around anyways. Let's get some fucking regen going, dude. Um... Muggle to get to five. And then where'd the level five go? Mulberry seed for six. And then six. And another seed for seven. And seven. And since we have a shit ton of onions, one of those for eight. And then eight and turn up regen. Let's 
fucking poison, dude, for real. Fuck your poison. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your poison. Do I have any antidote left? I do. And then, where is regen? That should keep our health in a decent place for a while. No, oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Seriously? And he made oozes? Since when does he make oozes? Appear. Okay, well, in that case, we just have to do this attack for a minute. Oh, he's stunned. Oh, we got one hit in on him. Uh, we're about to be stunned. That was that was really dumb of me. Uh, man, I really wish we could recover. Pow, quicker now! <laughs> no, hit the fucking sword back at him, please. We only need, like, one or two more stuns on him to get this fucking thing over with. Yeah, no, my button's definitely fucking up. It keeps pressing left. Or, I'm sorry, it keeps pressing up when I'm trying to press left or right. Uh, do I have any antidote left or do I need to make one? I have one. Ow. Oh, we are actually hurt. Um, is our regen still working? It is. It's just we've taken damage more quickly than usual. Okay, yeah, heal now because I'm going to be so mad if we fucking die after all of this. Legit, if I die after all this, I... I oh my god. I'm not going to be able to touch this game until next week. <laughs> I'm just going to be so fucking annoyed with it. Why are we taking so much damage all of a sudden? Can we make a painkiller or anything? Fuck, dude. No, I don't want to go into the story. Okay, eat. Do we eat the fruit? Habanero. Habanero can make a invulnerability thing. You need to be, what, level... It's either four or six. Is it six? I hope it's six. Ice. Six. Okay. Good. So we can take a level zero... it with a fruit. Take that and mix with um, the seed for level six. Take the level six, mix with, uh, I guess it doesn't matter if it's fire or, or whatever, or habanero, or turn up or habanero. Go ahead and use that, especially since our regen did end, which is annoying as shit, but... Okay, this could be it. This could be it. He should be spawning any moment now. He should be spawning in some fucking swords. We're frozen. Please, game. Holy fuck, game. Okay, spirits first. So we don't take any damage. And then our last fucking elixir, dude. We don't care about the swords unless they're close to him. Come on, come on, please fucking take pity game. Fuck, dude. Why is he so fucking tanky? He won't fucking die. This dude has a million fucking health. I swear to God. Oh good, he's spawning a beholder now. No, fuck you, dude. Okay, we need to we need to get our pal back. So we're just running for a moment. Got to get our pal back. He dodged it.
Come on, come on. Fuck! Yes! Jesus fuck, dude. Thank God. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that boss. If I ever have to fight him again, I'm quitting this damn game. <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh my god. He's literally the worst. I did it. Oh yeah, no, at least one more week. I don't, that was, Titania sucks. <laughs> so much, man. <laughs> Holy fuck, Titania. Oh, God. Uh. Fuck the wise men, too. I just want to throw that out there as well. ガロンオーがその身を交えと返事た。ターコーバの魔法じゃ。2階の門を開き、そこに救う魔が馬が敷地から追い抜いつす秘術よ。バレンタインを Especially the wise men, because fuck them specifically. <laughs> They dumb, they dumb dumb. <laughs> That's every bad guy's mistake ever. <laughs> Let's just tell you our entire plan because surely you won't escape before we have a chance to kill you. Like, if there are three of them but only two kings, what do they plan to do to each other? It's a good point. Uh, <laughs> someone by the store has big fireworks. Someone right outside our door has big fireworks. <laughs> It's about time, man. <laughs> oh, I hate Corny Boy. Why is he so dumb? Like, he just runs. Yeah, he just runs. Stupid. Stupid, stupid Corny. <laughs> the ring shall be lost. The birthing cry of newborn souls. Welcoming two crownless lords that shall survive the Armageddon and lead the revival. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> that was rough, man. I hate the wise men so much. So freaking much. Where I just want to know where the epilogue takes place. Because we are already over time. So, like, we definitely got to call it. But... Uh, but I want to know. I want to know where the hell <laughs> the epilogue takes place. Because if it's Titania, I quit. <laughs> I'm just not... I'm just done. Not doing it, man. We'll talk to them next time. Where's it taking us? There's not really a good spot for our house to let off fireworks, so it looks like another house will be catching fire. Let's hope not. <laughs> Nebulopolis. Okay. Um, that's That's all right. I don't remember what all we have to fight there, but um, that's fine though. I don't, as long as it's not Titania. <laughs> Velvet has to stop an idiot again. That's, that's Velvet's job, man. That's what she does. But anyways, guys, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, we are over time. So we're going to be ending it there. We'll be back next Monday, maybe wrapping up Odin Sphere? Question mark? It's hard to say because holy shit, did the game suddenly get hard. So we'll see what happens next week. 
Uh, I hope to see you all there. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. One more time, if you're celebrating today, I hope you have a good fourth. If you're not, I hope you just have a good day. I'll see you next time. Have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Reward you for not cheating when someone gave you the chance. I mean, that's...